everybody, and welcome to another edition of our Magical Mystery Auctions. I am Evan Irwin, live from the CoolStuffInc.com headquarters in sunny Orlando, Florida. And today, we're going to be bringing you four different booster boxes to auction away, including, for the first time ever, Battle Bond, also known as Commander Masters. Uh, this box is full of all sorts of wonderful multiplayer goodness, and uh, the prices on, the th on these things just keep rising, so we might as well open it while it's still available. That said, we also have two boxes of Ultimate Masters, which are always the funnest, because you're going to have those box toppers, which are awesome. And, uh, of course, for Battle Bond, we're going to hope to pop that foil doubling season. And, of course, for Ultimate Masters, maybe we'll pull another Cavern of Souls as our box topper. That was certainly fun. That said, uh, we certainly appreciate you hanging out here. Yeah, we, uh, we missed on Friday because I was, unfortunately, just sickly. It, was, uh, it wasn't, a good, wasn't a good look, and uh, I didn't want to bring you a, a, a sick, sad Evan. I wanted to bring you a happy, fun, rested, and rejuvenated Evan. That's what's going on here. So, that said, let's take a look at how we're going to auction off Battle Bond. We're going to do something new and different for this setup, which I think is also pretty interesting. We are going to auction off the Partners. Now, the partner cards are really cool because they, as I understand it, always show up together in the same set or in the same uh, booster pack, uh, which is really neat. So there's a whole bunch of partners that are really cool. There's, the, of course, the Mythic Planeswalkers, which are awesome as well, and, uh, and the ability to get both of those cards at the same time and to auction off just those partners is going to be a really fun and interesting experience. That said, our sort of standard setup beyond that is going to be taken from there, which is the multicolored and colorless and lands and tokens, all in one lot for that one. And then, of course, the five basic colors as you see them on screen. And we'll go through them as we go through the different auctions and stuff. But that said, I am excited. I hope you guys are as well. Would love to get started here. Let's take a look at the slide for multicolor, colorless, and lands and tokens just to get an idea of what we're looking at. Kia for Battle Bond in our magical mystery auction. And of course, for those who have never seen this before, have no idea what I'm talking about, we are going to auction off all of those different lots one at a time. And there's a bot in the chat that's going to be able to run those things for us. And uh, as a result, uh, we'll see who is going to win all of these different lots. There's $5 shipping in the lower 48, $15 shipping anywhere, anywhere else in the world. Uh, and you can bid, of course, as you see fit, and we'll open the box as soon as all of the payments have been sent via PayPal. That said, these are the multicolor colorless lands and tokens. Finally got that word tokens on there uh, for you to check out. Now, these are highlighted, of course, by the dual lands, the, well, quote unquote dual lands for multiplayer games, which are basically as good as it's going to get if you're going to play Commander in a multiplayer environment, you want these lands. Now, they don't have the basic land types on yet, but, you know, we're just going to leave a little something for uh, future printings and future ideas. Uh, that said, this also includes all of the foils for that one. And if we want to get an auction started for the multicolor, colorless lands and tokens of Battle Bond, let's do that. Now, again, every foil that pops out of this box that is of this variety, you'll be getting, which is great. Those emblems are really cool. Uh, there are lots of good options here. Of course, being uh, Miko Sync Lattice and Mind's Eye. Also got a uh, reprinting. We have all five of the Dual Lands on here because every single one of them is terrific. Uh, all of these cards are fantastic in a multiplayer environment, as they should be, and I think, honestly, even surprisingly so. Uh, stuff like Luxury Suite is fantastic. Morphic Pool is great. Uh, I definitely want to pull lots and lots of multicolor and lands and tokens and stuff. Get your bids in now. Exclamation mark bid space your number. And again, that'll be $5 shipping in the lower 48. That'll be 15 This is a... Okay. Fair enough. Well, there you go. So, thank you very much to, I believe this was Martin Kesa. Hey, man, how's it going? A uh, supporter of myself. Let's go ahead and go back to the different types of auctions we're going to do for Battle Bond here. Take a look at them. Now, we just did the Multicolor Colorless Lands and Tokens. And again, if you have no idea what we're doing here, we're auctioning off for real dollars the contents of a Battle Bond booster box. And we're going to do this bit by bit, sort of section by section. As you see here, we just finished the Multicolor Colorless Lands and Tokens. Let's take a look at the partners. This one's very interesting to me. Uh, the partners themselves show up together in these booster packs. That includes the Mythic Planeswalkers, as you see them here. Uh, whether it's uh, Toothy and Peer, which are a super fun combo right there. Uh, these, I believe these are all rare in some form, uh, whether they're Mythic or, or regular. Uh, and, uh, and they just bring a really interesting sort of dynamic to the set. 
in terms of being characters that you have here. Uh, go ahead and some are uncommon. Okay, good to know. Thank you, Martin. Uh, I've not played a lot of Battle Bond myself because I'm not much of a commander player, but I do like it. I sort of like look in through the glass, as it were. But we have started the auction now. Exclamation mark bid space your whole number gets you in there. And the auction will continue until no more bids are given. There'll be a timer, <clears throat> there'll be a timer countdown if you haven't seen it already in the chat. And again, the payments will be sent via PayPal with $5 shipping in the lower 48 or 15 anywhere on the planet. As these are opened packs, uh, they are not uh, considered sealed product, so we can send them wherever, which is great. Otherwise, we can't send them anywhere but the U.S. Yeah, and uh, of course we can have these shipped to the store if you have a local Cool Stuff game store in Florida that you happen to frequent. Uh, you can certainly get them shipped there. After you uh, finish your bid, if you win this lot, you can also bundle this lot with an order from CoolStuffInc.com. If you wanted to get an order from Cool Stuff and then get a uh, and win this bid and contact customer service and let them know, we can work that out for you no problem. That said, exclamation mark bid space your number is to get in on all of the partners I'm going to open. If the partners are in the pack, they're going to be in a separate pile and they will go to you. Whether or not they are foil, they'll go to you. Obviously, I would love to pop a foil Rowan Kenrith or a Will Kenrith. That would be terrific. But that said, this is your opportunity to get in on our first box of Battle Bond. We're going to do another one of these after this one's over. So we'll get to see some sort of baseline as to how good or bad uh, these partners end up being, obviously we want them to be terrific. I want to give you guys fantastic stories of how you made out like a bandit. Uh, and there are multiple stories already. Uh, for example, let's see, last week we opened the ensnaring bridge, foil ensnaring bridge. Or maybe, was it the week before? I can't recall. Uh, but there was definitely a ensnaring bridge, foil ensnaring bridge that showed up. Obviously our, our Ultimate Masters boxes have been anywhere from unbelievably ridiculous to just fantastic. Uh, is, is generally the mode there. Um, <clears throat> that was last Monday. Yes, it was. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, so last Monday we had our terrific openings. Here we are again. We're going to have three auctions this week because we're making up because we missed on Friday. So we're going to have today, we're going to have Thursday, and we're going to have uh, Friday. Auction has closed. Congratulations to LEGO27. Let's hope we open some good, good stuff. We can bring it back to the different types of lots for Battle Bond. You can see them right here. Now, the white cards, we can bring up the white cards, certainly are exciting. Uh, let's start an auction for the white cards in Battle Bond, please. Now, this includes land tax, which is terrific. Brightling, which has been seeing some legacy play, which is amazing. Arena Rector, which is, I mean, has to get that much more exciting when you have a set full of 36 Planeswalkers coming up. That's going to be awesome. Uh, along with Play of the Game, which is great. Like, the whole... Battle Bond as you're in a sports arena thing is really interesting. Uh, but play of the game is you know, essentially if your opponent, if your your partner, your you know, your team or whatever, uh, if your team has four mana each, then you can play this four mana sorcery to exile all non-land permanents. That's really awesome. Uh, Brightly is one of those cards you're like, wait a minute, it does what and this and that, and then turns out to be one of the best cards in the set, which is terrific. All right. We are still working on that bid. If you want to get in on this. This is exclamation mark bid space. A whole number can't be cents. Not doing thirty-five dollars and one cent and two cents and all other stuff. But <clears throat> that said, the uh, the bid countdown will restart as it gets closer. So if someone is to bid when they're in the final ten seconds, final five seconds, that will reset the, the counter to start once more. But everybody needs those core spirit dancers, along with the arena rectors for again a thirty-six planeswalker set is coming our way soon. Land tax is land tax and has been ridiculous from the start. Was finally unbanned in Legacy. Uh, didn't do a whole lot because I think that format just doesn't run enough on basic lands, I guess, as it were. The scroll rack interaction is not powerful enough, but that's okay. Congratulations to Argent Griever for winning all of the white cards in Battle Bond. Please see CSI underscore auction help who will get you the info to get the payment sent in. Make sure you get all the info for your shipping and stuff. If you could please bring up all the blue cards in Battle Bond. One minute. Oh wait, the bots something wrong? Okay. Auction closed. There we are. Okay. Terrific. <clears throat> that said, we are looking at all the blue cards, of course, highlighted by the one and only true name nemesis. So if we can get that auction up and running. Uh, true name nemesis is not a very fair magic card. I have no idea why this card is blue. I don't not exactly sure why this card wouldn't be white, because white kind of is the protection color and 
but why not make it blue? Because it's the best color in Magic, and it like just wrecks Legacy constantly, uh, and is one of the best Merfolk ever printed when you can't ever touch it or do anything to it. It's weird how that works out. Uh, that said, the uh, Spell Seeker is really cool and looks, I think, more busted for older formats than I think it ended up being, but as a casual card to go find you those spells that you need, that is fantastic. So over Temptation, one of my favorite cards all the way back from Lorwyn. I think this is the first printing since Lorwyn, uh, as I recall, because it really, really needed a reprint, which was ridiculous. That said, remember, exclamation mark, bid, space, and number is the one you want to enter to get all of the blue cards, including all the foils. If a foil true name nemesis pops out of here, it is yours. You have those awesome stories to tell, along with every other blue card that I pop out of this box, whether it's foil or whether it's rare or common or whatever, you will be getting it, which is awesome. That said, congratulations to Nazer Snab for winning the blue lot. Please see CSI underscore auction help to get the info for the PayPal stuff and all of your shipping information and all that good stuff. Please bring up all the black cards in Battle Bond. Now, at least the slide featuring some of the black cards. Now, we're going to auction off the lot of all the black cards. If you could start that auction, please. This is led by our mythic friend, Archfiend of Despair. That is a giant, scary monster. Eight mana, eight, eight. Your opponents can't gain life. At the beginning of each end step, each opponent loses life equal to the life that player lost this turn. So essentially, it's basically a 12-6, <clears throat> but your opponent's not gaining life is a bonus on top of that. Uh, Nirkana Revenant is one of those cards where I went, holy crap, it's worth what? <laughs> because I think it was originally printed in uh, Rise of the Eldrazi, if I recall. Um, but, you know, being able to have something that is uh, essentially a mana flare uh, and it's, we've gotten to the point, I think, in Magic at this point where I can't just say Mana Flare and you know what that means. Um, a card that doubles your mana or doubles the mana that something produces uh, was originally a Mana Flare. Of course, they had to get rid of those effects in terms of standard because they're busted. Now, if you stick it on a six mana creature, it's not that bad. But if you put it on a three mana enchantment, eh, it can be a problem. That said, we have such things like Stunning Reversal Diabolic Intent, which I believe is a reprint, as I recall. Uh, that finally got there. Again, exclamation mark bid space a whole number is what you need to do to get involved in this auction right here for every black card that I pull out of the box, including foils. And obviously I want to get all the sweet foil mythics for everyone's enjoyment, but there's usually only one to two per box and we'll see if they happen to be black. That said, don't want to miss your chance to just be like, well, I just got it for X. I just paid X for Y. And this box, and as we've seen traditionally, what happens is this box is going to fuel the next box. So you want to get in now and not wait till then because whatever happens with this box is going to impact the next one. It's just how it works. We've seen it time and time again. And uh, if this thing ends up being crazy awesome and fantastic and we pull all the five dual lands out of this sucker, I mean, you know, you're not going to be able to get them as cheap as you did for the next one. That's just, that's the nature of the auction business. That said, we are still rocking the Battle Bond Black. What's the deal with Battle Bond? These bonds are not, or I'm sorry, these bonds. These cards are not modern legal. Uh, they are much like commander sets. This is like Conspiracy, for example, um, where they go into legacy, vintage, and casual, of course. And Battle Bond itself was meant to be drafted in pairs as two-headed giants. This is essentially the two-headed giant set, quote unquote, uh, where you have a team and they built it all around like sports motifs or something. It's like a sports plane. It's really weird. Um, but I mean, whatever it takes, because again, this sort of ended up being commander all-stars or commander masters because uh, everything in the set is basically awesome for multiplayer play, which is generally casual play, aka commander. So that said, congratulations once again to Nazer Snab for getting this lot of all the black cards in Battle Bond. If you are planning on uh, bidding on multiple lots, that's fine. Feel free to contact CSI underscore auction help and let them know. That way we can bundle all of the payments into one and so you don't have to send multiple payments and the shipping stuff and all that stuff gets fixed uh, ahead of time. Let's bring up all the red cards from Battle Bond. Now this is highlighted by the awesome, unbelievably awesome, the Gila, the Blade Blossom. If we can create a auction for the red cards here, you want to be involved in getting every single red card I pulled out of here. Now, the Gila is one of those awesome examples of, like, the, the card itself is terrific and fine. It's like five, six bucks or whatever, right? But the foil is like $60 because when you have sets like these, like Conspiracy, Conspiracy 2, Battle Bond, where they're like the weird draft sets or whatever, uh, their foils are hard to come by. There's just not a lot of this product that's open, especially compared to a standard set. 
And as a result, the, uh, the foils for this one, again, you are focusing on the world of Commander, uh, then that's going to be a thing where people like to foil out their decks and, uh, and make their decks as sweet as possible. I got to play an Ajila, the Blade Blossom deck at uh, GP Vegas. Someone had built it and I borrowed it and it was amazing. It was so much fun. There's a ton of warrior specific cards for uh, in this set for those for that tribe, essentially. And we actually did top 10 warriors on Magic Mike's top 10 this week. So it's kind of thematic in that regard. Uh, but Najila is definitely the all-star there. Of course, Chain Lightning, being Chain Lightning, is awesome. And I can certainly pull one of those. Uh, stuff like Wars Toll finally got reprinted, which is nice. Bonus Round, which is cool. I love the sort of sports-centric cards that they created with. That's it. Congratulations to Anthony Castillo, 1977. I hope to pull great red stuff for you. If you could please bring up all of the green cards. This is the final lot in Battle Bond. Once we do this one, we open the box. That said, it is highlighted by Doubling Season. Doubling Season finally reprinted at the Mythic Rarity, as it should be, originally from Ravnica City of Guilds, and one, another one of those original, oh my god, it's worth what cards? Uh, still, I think at this point, still a 40-ish, 50-ish dollar card, something like that. I have no idea what the foils cost. I'm afraid to look. Um, but what I would love to do, yes, is in Haru, unfortunately. You missed the lands, but we have another box of Battlebond coming here in a little while, so if you want to stick around... It could be yours. That said, Seaborn Muse. I mean, Bramble Sovereign is awesome. Vigor is ridiculous. Greater good with that sweet artwork. Like, this is a packed bunch of cards for casuals, for those who like to play EDH and Commander. And, of course, nobody wants that foiled Evelyn season more than yours truly so that we could get the sleeve. Hashtag get the sleeve. Got to put a sleeve on that sucker. And, uh, and then we usually go over all of our sleeved cards at the end of the auction to see where we got our big hits. That said, if you want to get in right now, exclamation mark bid. Uh-oh. <clears throat> we, we had to fix it. We'll probably have to fix the auction. Unfortunately, as it does happen, people do uh, fumble, and I'm sure nobody wanted to pay $224 for this category. That's okay. We, we fixed it. We, <laughs> we didn't originally have that code in the bot until it happened, and then we're like, oh, we, we need to fix that. So we did, which was great. But... The uh, Seaborn Muse is silly and powerful, and I love it. Bramble Sovereign is one of those cards that I hope you bought early, because it wasn't very much to start with, but has slowly and quickly gained, uh, gained value. $80 foil doubling season at CSI. I absolutely believe it. That is a card that you can get today. Have a store. You can even clip this thing. You're like, look, here's where Evan pulled the card out. It's so sick. That's fantastic. Oh no. Clean Cup, unfortunately, we have gotten to the end of our Battle Bond lots. If you want to be involved. Oh. Okay, so we're going to have to want to run that one again, essentially. Okay. So we fixed it. We run it. We're going to fix it by running it back. Okay. Is that, are we running it back? Yes. Okay, so we're doing this one more time. Sorry, guys. It appears that between the fixing and the auction ending, that was a problem. So we're going to run it back. For those who weren't able to get in the first time or for those who want to rerun their bids, feel free to put it out there. Again, this is for all the green cards. There's so many good green cards in this set. Uh, it is fantastic. And of course, Dublin Season with that amazing new artwork. Oh, I look forward to pulling one of those. I would love nothing more than to give you all the foil goody seedborn muses and greater goods that I pull out of here. You can anywhere in the world clean cup. Uh, for a shipping cost of $5 in the lower 48, but $15 in, for example, Canada or anywhere else in the world. If you're in Europe or Asia or whatever, we can get your package to you. And uh, unfortunately, <clears throat> it is that much because we want to send it with tracking. We want to make sure that the cards that you see here are the ones that you get. But uh, that said, again, thanks to it not being sealed product, we can send it anywhere on the planet. Feel free to get involved. We're Battle Bond twice today and then Uma twice today. It's going to be so sweet. Because there ain't no fun like opening up Ultimate Masters, y'all. That's just that's good, clean living right there. But also good, clean living would be Battle Bond. Would be the set that surprised Wizards in terms of how well it did, which was great. Um, it sold super great. All right. We are almost to the end of our bids. But, uh, yeah, it did really well. Wizards was super surprised. This was led, as I understand it, by Gavin Verhey. He did a great job there. Uh, I was certainly, spe or spectacle. I was certainly skeptical of, uh, of the spectacle, as it were, 
uh, being a sports planet. You know, you're on the sports plane. Like, I don't, I still don't really know what that's supposed to be, but hey, whatever, man. It, they made it work, and the idea of having a land called Luxury Suite just, just tickles me. Just does. I think it's great. Oh, I do need to open a land tax. I can certainly do that. Good and foil, just the way you like it, as it were. The cards on the screen are the money picks. Yes, they are. These are the cards that you, we want to see above all others. The auction closed? The auction closed? Yeah. Oh, it did? Yeah. Oh, crater pwned. Oh, fantastic. Well, congratulations on that. Apparently, unfortunately, we missed some bids. Um, that said, please, for those who have won bids, contact CSI <laughs> underscore auction help if you want to bring it back to myself. Now that those bids are done, sorry, missed that. Um, but once all payments have been put into CSI underscore auction help, we will get this thing rocking and rolling, but that takes a minute, and we know that. And what we've done here over the past little bit, one of the things we like to do is that between the end of the auction and the start of the opening, we are going to give away a $25 gift certificate to CoolStuffInc.com just for hanging out. We want to reward you whether you're here to auction or bid for auctions or just watch cards being open. That's cool too. Now, for logistical purposes and stuff like taxes and accounting or whatever, like if you win this $25 gift certificate, you can't use it for the auction. I know it's fine, but what you could do is take that and create another order on CoolStuffInc.com and then contact customer service and say, hey, I want to bid for all the red cards in Battle Bond, and here's my order number that I just placed using this gift certificate that I won. Could we please put the chocolate and the peanut butter together? And we certainly can do that. So that's no problem. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Archie Griever. Um, uh, the you know good artists borrow, great artists steal. This uh, this was something that I saw happening in the sports card world, where they would do things like you would pick a team, you'd pick the Ravens or or the Titans or whatever. Uh, they opened sports cards, and you know people got their respective teams. And I thought that was cool, and I was like, wow, we we totally have that for Magic, and I I think we do. Um, I'm excited for War of the Spark. I definitely want to. We're, we're definitely going to be auctioning a ton of War of the Spark. Just you wait, um, but. Uh, I also am curious of what happens when we're going to bust up the uh, the different types of cards because I definitely want to do it by card type at least once or at least a couple times for War of the Spark where everyone gets all the Planeswalkers that we open. So of the 36 that are in the set, I am really curious as to what happens when we bust it up like that. That would be sweet. Uh, Hawabaji, thank you so much for the Forgotten Lore thing. I, I'm, I'm trying to gear myself back up for uh, making stuff. I'm in this weird point where I've not made a kind of a standalone video in a very long time um, and that creates its own weird pressures which is kind of odd but kind of you know it is what it is as it were that said exclamation mark enter will get you into that giveaway uh, and thank you Arjun I appreciate, appreciate that um, but we would definitely want to get you in that uh, only do it once doesn't matter if you do it twice it's not going to help it's just going to spam the channel and nobody wants that but uh, you could be anywhere in the world on this internet and you chose to be on our channel right now, which I certainly appreciate. Again, hi, I'm Evan Irwin. I'm live from CoolStuffInc.com here in sunny Orlando, Florida. We are doing the Magical Mystery Auctions today. We're doing one box of Battle Bond, which is great. And then we're going to do another box of Battle Bond, and then a box of Ultimate Masters, and then another box of Ultimate Masters. Because there's no, there's no brakes on this hype train, y'all. We're just, we're just going. We're just going straight. It's going to be awesome. Whew. Oh, my gosh. Tam, oh, the Tarmogoyf, woo, Tarmogoyf Hierarch last time was sweet. Got to pull one of those. How many are we waiting on at this point? Just the Unos? Just the Kree. Okay, so that said, if you do have an auction outstanding, please send in that payment if you won't mind. That way we can get started and I can pull a winner for this gift certificate. If you're not in or you just joined the channel, how you doing? We're, giving, we're doing a $25 gift certificate giveaway right now to CoolStuffInc.com. So please be involved. Always fantastic. The Umalots are gonna be sweet. Oh my goodness, we are good to go. If you could please pick a winner. Let's see who the lucky person is. And once we pick that winner, we are opening some Battle Bond. Oh, it's gonna be sweet. I'm excited. I hope you get all the dual lands. The dual lands are my favorite. The packs shall deliver. Oh boy. Here we go. Congratulations to uh, Jolic Zeno, I think is the way you'd say that. Uh, you contact please CSI underscore auction help to get you that $25 gift certificate. That said, it's opening time, bam, for this box of Battle Bond. Okay. 
dooby doo doo. It's so shiny and new. Oh, what am I pulling that trash can? Because right now we're going to have a giant stack of stuff. All right, that's Battle Bond, so you slide it out like that. Just cool. I haven't seen that before. Pretty neat. And this thing, oh, that's pretty neat to forge an unbreakable bond with the Kenriths, as it were. Got our little triangle here that pulls out and goes away. And now we have packs of Battle Bond. Look at that. That's so cool. That is so cool. I still love that packaging. I think that's great. So I'm going to pull these packs out so you can see them. That's always a big thing as to how many packs are remaining. Go ahead and put these over here, as it turns out. All right, should work out all right. Let's get started. Whoa. Uh, let's see how these things are. All right, so these are structured in a really interesting way. We have our token first, which is much like Ultimate Masters, followed by a land. Okay. Whoa, Luxury Suite pops out first thing. Yes, I love it. Uh, I'm, I'm already pleased. That is fantastic. So the lands of tokens and that rare is yours, along with Bring Down, Pulse of Marasa, and Spell Snare. Ooh, that's cool. I like it, I like it. There's Assassinate, that's a that's a fun one. Angelic Gift, there's Sickle Dancer. I'll take my Dancing and Sickles. Frost Links, and your Fertile Grounds. Night Market Guard, and along with Dagger Drone Imp. Cool. Looking for some partners too, because we uh, auctioned away the partners. We'll see if we can come up with one of those. Spirit is going to give us a land of forest to show a rare of Arcane Artisan. Yes, that's mythic. Yes, it was on the slide. Yes, thank you very much. Target player drawing a card, exiling it. Oh my goodness. That card is terrific. Congratulations to the Blue Lot winner. I like it. Impetus Protege, Proud Mentor, and Spectral Searchlight are your uncommons. And there's our gold and land and everything else. Also, if you ever happen to see me putting something in the wrong spot, don't worry. We go over these at the end. Ooh, there's an omen speaker in this. That's pretty cool, along with Elvish Visionary. And Dragon Hatchling is the final card. But we do go through these to make sure I didn't screw it up. Not a big deal. And I have before. All right, our zombie token's gonna show a planes and a rare of Archon of Valor's Reach. Super cool, six mana, five, six, flying, vigilance, trample. Oh my goodness, people can't cast spells of the chosen type. All right then, I dig it. There's a Lay Weaver, Lore Weaver, Morbid Curiosity for your uncommons. All right, there's a Fill with Fright. I think that showed, that showed up in Mirrodin, I believe it was. Urborg Drake, Ember Beast, Nimbus of the Isles, good old Basilisk. And there's Lightning Talons. All right. Let's see if we can get some of those sweet partners out of here. That would be nice. Your warrior showing an island and a rare of Stolen Strategy. Stolen Strategy is doing some crazy red enchantment goodness. Along with Blaze, another red card. Switcheroo. And Take Up Arms is your final uncommon. That's here somewhere. Midnight Guard, a uh, popper combo if I ever saw one. Stadium Vendors is still a great name. There's a giant growth. The Mummy That Spars along with the Gargoyle is our final card. Right. Very cool. Our Beast is going to show a land of a swamp and a rare and a foil forest and a rare a foil forest, a rare of Sower of Temptation. Yes, please. Thank you. I love this card. It's super powerful, super sweet. We got the mythic blue card to start with, and here's Sower right behind it. Congratulations to the blue lot winner. We are starting off strong for you. There's our fan favorite. Ooh, pacifism. I love it. Even the original Mirage artwork. That was originally included in a, um, ooh, negate with new artwork. That was uh, originally included in an uh, issue of Inquest. Uh, as hype for Mirage. And I know that because I'm old. All right, uh, Warrior shows a mountain and a rare of Peer's Whim. All right, 
Each player chooses friend or foe, and you go do something awesome as a result. There's Solemn Offering, Colin Dias, and Lava Field Overlord as our final uncommons. Good old painful lessons that we learned with shocks. Traveler, ooh, there's the Rock Feaster Maggot. Why do they keep printing that thing so much? It's in multiple sets. Soaring Show Off, I like it, along with a Mythic Giant to finish this out. All right. A Mirror Token is going to show a Forest and a Rare of Spell Seeker. Yes, thank you very much. Look at that blue lot. Look how that blue lot's coming through. Coming through strong. Three cards on that blue lot. Yes, please, thank you. With your Tenacious Dead, Angel of Retribution, and Gold Forged Sentinel is your final uncommon. Good gosh, the blue cards have been destroying it today. And we're just getting started. Good old Impulse, very nice. Another excellent blue card. I'll take it. And there's an Expedite. All right. Okay, we have our spirit token showing an island and a rare Mangara of Corondor. Very nice. This is part of the Death and Taxes deck in Legacy, amongst others. That's great. Congrats to the White Lot winner. Oracle's Insight, only Fertilid, and a Flame Weaver Invoker are your final uncommons. Good old Claustrophobia. Gotta love that. Spell Weaver Duo. All right then. Coral Helm Guide, strength from Zendikar. And there's a Pierce Strider directly from uh, Scars of Mirrodin, I think. Could have been New Phyrexia. All right, Warrior is going to show us a Plains and a rare of Magus of the Candelabra, a foil rare at that, a foil Magus of the Candelabra, which means I believe there's another rare behind it of Regana, of Regna the Redeemer. Very nice, holy cow. And then the partner's in there too? Okay, so we got a foil rare, nice. We got a rare partner, nice, along with the other rare partner. Very nice, that's awesome. Well, the partner pile just got started now, didn't it? That's great. Oh boy, a blood bloodborne scoundrels. Finishing off our uncommons here, wow. Well, that was fun, our first ever partners. And a foil rare? Yes, please, thank you. And the Peace Strider. Noise. Freaking noise. A zombie shows a swamp and a rare. Vigor. Yes! That's a vigor right there. This card is fan freaking tastic, originally from Lorwyn. Man, the green player, congratulations, or the green lot winner, rather. Congratulations to you. There's a Swords to Plowshares. I'll take it. Very nice. Very nice for the white lot winner. Congratulations to that and to you. There is a reveler and a wayfinder. The visionary and omen speaker again. One of the dagger drone imp and a tyrant's machine. All right. What else do we have in store here? Yeah. We have a warrior. Shows an island and a rare. Newscraft Mob. Okay, gets five counters on it when they cast a spell or move a counter. If you do, you make a zombie. All right, that's pretty cool. Seems fun. There's a Retriever and a Slinger. And there's a Fumble. Very nice. Oh, wait a minute. That Retriever and that Slinger are partners. I was like, wait a minute. Something's going on with these guys. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. So they are partners with one another, so they go in the partner pile. And again, as I noted earlier, if I screwed up and we accidentally do that and I don't catch it, uh, we do go through these one more time before we send them out. Note that we're not going to be sending them out until tomorrow, so that gives you a chance to make an order and bundle your sweet lot with an order from Cool Stuff. And Martin, you are totally correct. Those were partners. All right. Okay, a zombie giant shows us a planes and a rare... Stunning Reversal, very nice. That is a mythic, ladies and gentlemen. Was on the black slide for a reason. Man, freaking tastic. If you're gonna lose the game, you don't. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, a Veteran Explorer, very nice. We're the Green Lot winner. Along with the Inner Demon as our final uncommon. All right. Good old fan favorite. 
as it were. Combo attack is fun. And a Millennial Gargoyle finishes out. All right, we have a warrior that shows a forest into a rare of Korvoth's Fury. Very cool. Another friend or foe card for red. The crowd goes wild, of course, for that. There's the Bold Weir Intimidator. We just did the Warriors episode this week on Magic Mike's. Cowards cannot block warriors. That's how it works, y'all. They just can't. Azra, Azra Oddsmaker, as it were. A shock, which is always useful. All right, got the Eye of Light Assassin showing up from Lorwyn, or maybe it was Shattermore. I don't remember. There's Impulse, which is great. Lightning Talons and a Hexplate Golem finishes us out. Ooh. Are we ready for that, for that true name? How about a shiny one? I could go for that. All right. We have a Warrior into an island and a rare of Charging Rhino is a foil. That's right. Those foils, man, they're, fo they're, th they're, they're throwing me. I don't get it. But a rare of Greater Good. Very nice. And along with that foil, you got that Greater Good that was on the green slide for a reason. Yes, this card is great. Congratulations to the green lot winner. Doing pretty well. The blue, the blue winner, I think, is doing a little bit better, but that's okay. We still got a lot of box to go. Get our giant growths and our omen speakers out of here. Dagger Drone Imp finishing us out. So many partners. All right, we have Zombie into a plane showing a rare or foil. Nixithid. Oh, cool. This, is, this I think, is from New Phyrexia, as I recall. Uh, really neat card. There's another Odds Maker. And there's a Spectral Searchlight with our fan favorites. All right, learning all the painful lessons today. Ooh, in the gate with new artwork, which is great. There's a Charger Rhino we just opened in foil. And that mummy finishes us out. Okay, we have a spirit token here with a mountain and a rare. I'm sorry, a foil shock. It's not a rare shock, it's still just the regular old common. But a rare last one standing. Very nice. Choose a creature at random and destroy the rest. This was on that slide for a reason. Congratulations to the land multicolor uh, colorless winner. Hunted Wumpus. <laughs> it was famously could not be named at one point. And um, Gerard Fabiano named, what was it? What was it? Bumpus Wumpus, something something weird. And uh, and as a result, lost. He was trying to, was trying to name a card that uh, not let him cast it. And he couldn't remember the name of it. It actually led to a change in the rules. That if you can describe the card, a judge will help you find the name of it. Uh, Warrior shows a swamp into a rare or foil. Wow, Zender splits judgment. Okay, that's a card. Very nice. There's another friend or foe for the blue stack. Jubilant mascot, chain lightning. Hey yo, ding ding for the red lot winner. Very nice. There's gang up. There's a doomed center, claustrophobia. Very nice. Stadium vendors and a saddleback lagak. Soaring show off along with a the club security. That's fun and expedite. Keep on rocking and rolling. Kaladesh Revolt, okay, very well could be. I wasn't sure if it was for a supplemental set or whatever. Forest shows a rare or foil. Victory Chimes. Untap during each other player's untap step and tap a player of your choice adds a colorless mana. Cool. Well, aim high and a fog bank. There's that maggot. Keeps showing up. It's kind of gross, I'm not gonna lie. We'll wrap it in flames with the Hunt Beast. Totally lost with fiddle, 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 whatever. You know. You know what I'm talking about. And our stacks everywhere. <clears throat> Very nice. A warrior shows a plains and a rare or foil spell snare. Oh, snap. That's a foil spell snare. That is nice. Woo, and a rare Guafa Hazid Profiteer. Very nice. All right. That goes in the multicolor stack. Super cool. Beast within with a new artwork, which looks great. Jungle Wayfinder, along with a Magma Hellion. 
And you have a P Strider and a Cal Prowler. Whoop! Almost dropped it. I got those reflexes of growing up with video games. All right. We got a mirror token with an island and a foil or a rare. Korvoth Bright Flame, which is a partner, a rare partner, along with Sylvia Bright Spear. Very nice. Near the front of the partner list for a reason. Congratulations to the partner lot winner, which I believe is Martin. All right. Along with an auger spree is our final. Well, that was a common. That wasn't our final uncommon. That was just common. Ooh, last gas with new artwork. All right. Sky Shroud Claim is reprinted. <clears throat> Good old canopy spider. And a Kraken Hatchling. But sometimes you just need a one man O4. You know what I'm saying? It's just how things are. All right. We have, oh, not you, Martin? Okay. Uh, zombie shows a forest and a rare ore foil. Land tax. Yes, please. Thank you. Woo woo. The front of the white cards for a reason. That's what I'm talking about. Very nice. Congratulations to the white winner. I'm going to go ahead and get a pop a sleeve on that one. It's time to get the sleeve, y'all. We're at the very front of a color. We're going to at least get the sleeve on those every time. Oh, my goodness. Yes, yes, please. Oh, my goodness. That's a land tax. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to put you right there so we can keep you in shot all the time. Talk about that one again later. It's going to be great. I'm trying to clean this up a little bit before it gets to be completely unmanageable. Turns out that all of the lands and the multicolor and stuff is quite the pile. Oh, we need to finish this pack now, don't we? With the kiss of the Amisha. Decorated champion and Slum Reaper, which is finally in Popper now and is appreciated. Good old fan favorite right there. And again, if I mess up and put something in the wrong pile, don't worry, we go through them one more time before we send them out. All right. Yeah, land tax, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Woot woot. All right, we have a spirit token. And Forrest is going to show a rare or a foil. Magus of the Condalabra, as is tradition here on the cast, uh, we tend to get the same rare that we opened in foil. That's happened quite a few times. Uh, not every time, but quite a few times it has absolutely occurred. Here's that maggot, I'm telling you. Things gross. Centaur healer and huddle up with your binox. And the rampart, once again, is the last card. Ooh, ba -doo -doo. Okay, we have a warrior into a mountain and a rare ore foil. Coral Helm Guide is foil. Cool, cool, cool. With a rare Bramble Sovereign. Yes, please. Thank you. That's on that green slide for a reason. That's a mythic rare. That's an excellent, excellent pull. Congratulations to the green lot winner. You got yourself a sweet, sweet mythic right there. I have a lot of assassin. Super cool. I'm putting things in the wrong piles. And again, as I've said before, we go through them. We'll make sure I don't screw it up. All right. Nice. Freaking nice. Ah. Cool, cool. The Warriors showing the planes and a foil or rare. Goblin Raze Runners. Very nice. Along with your Nimbus Champion, the Sphinx, and the Shaman. Okay. Good old Corsair showing up from Ixalan. Who to thunk it? Reckless Reveler and your Rhinos. Lead by example once more, and a Yoshin Soldier to finish this out. That is a card from Antiquities. One of my favorite cards from back in the day. And even back when I got back to... Uh, the magic. All right, here's an emblem. That's pretty cool. Shows an island and a rare. Play of the game. Very nice. And thanks much to Jim Davis, obviously, for hosting our stream. Play of the game is a fantastic white card. One of the best removal spells you can have in a multiplayer environment when you're playing on teams. And there it is. Very nice. We're calling Dias. Dias. Along with our morbid curiosity, another spell snare. Along with our foil one we got earlier which was great. More claustrophobias. 
Oh boy, you got your warriors, and your duos, and your prowlers, and your beast riders. Very nice. Need more lands. I could use a few more duallys. We did start with a dually though, which was great. That made me happy. This mountain is going to show us a foil or rare Sentinel Tower. Whenever an instant or sorcery spell is cast during your turn, it deals damage to any target equal to one plus the number of instant and sorcery spells cast before that spell. So you want to you want to build up to the big crazy spell turns on that one, and then shock someone to death. Seems like a good play. Oh, that maggot. It's just everywhere. And that's gross. Impulse is awesome. Fantastic common. And there's that gargoyle. Let's keep rocking and rolling here. Get some of those partners going. Warrior is going to show a swamp and a rare or foil. Bountiful promenade. You ask for real estate, I bring you real estate. I'm just telling you, that's how it works. That's a dual land. It's green and white, and it's great. Congratulations on that one. Our reckless scholar here. All right, got our wandering wolf showing up, along with uh, Return to the Earth. Crack on hashing into Stone Golem as our final card. Well, a Najila would be nice. I will take one Najila, please. Thank you. Oh my goodness, we have a beast into an island into a foil or rare. Sea of clouds. You keep asking me for real estate, I keep bringing you real estate. That's how we're doing it. This is all the dual lands. It's fine. It's fine. I'm going to go ahead and put that lane right over there because I want to. At the very least, I'm going to pull those out because I want to highlight the dual lands that we got because they're great. And then we got one way early. Way, way early in our luxury suite. As long as I don't destroy the card. That's never happened. Um, cool. All right, so those are dual lands. And there's our opportunity. Very nice. And our dragon breath. Well, another shock there. I think we pulled almost a place that, including a foil one, which is always useful. Got our hunt beast and our prowler along with our peace strider. Just give peace strider a chance, that's all we're saying. All we're saying. All right. Yeah. And the mere token showing us a basic forest, a foil or rare, Seedborn Muse. Yes, please, and thank you. The green player, or the green lot winner, rather, once again, making out with a terrific card that's on that slide for a reason. Very cool. Layweaver. Oh, the Layweaver and the Lore Weaver. I think I've screwed this up and passed these guys up at least once. And that's my bad. Again, we'll go through these and make sure we catch all the partner cards. That's just a note, because uh, I know I've made that mistake at least once. That's my bad. We'll fix it. Because I'm the worst. There's Tyrant's Machine to finish out here. Should have known. I right, just wouldn't prepare for those uncommon partners. Zombie shows a planes and a foil or rare. Gang up, which is foiled. Really cool. Destroy target creature. All right. And a rare Mind Blade Render. Very cool. This is on the black slide, as I recall, for a reason. That card is super neat. Good old Assassinate. Sky Shroud Claim. Fertile Ground is great. There's another Peace Strider. Let's give him a chance, guys. Only here for the lands. Well, I certainly got a few, which is terrific. All right, let's see here. A warrior shows a mountain into a foil or rare. Tide Spout Tyrant is foil. Oh my goodness. Look at that guy. New artwork, which is amazing. Our second foil rare of the box. That is gorgeous. Congratulations to the blue lot winner. Very nice and a rare. A thrilling Encore, another card on those slides for a reason. That's what I am talking about. Very nice. Congratulations to the Black Lot winner on that one. Woo! Wow. Whew. I got I got I got a foil rare, the Tide Tyrant. I got I got to get the sleeve on that one. The Foil Tide Spout Tyrant. 
we are getting the sleeve as we should. That's some that's some shiny goodness right there. For a reason. Very nice. All right. The old blood feud. All right. Very cool. And if you do, feel free to, or if you want to, feel free to follow us as you can check out uh, all of these auctions when they go live or be a part of one, which we're going to be doing as soon as we're done opening this box. We're about four packs away or so after this one. Let's see what we got here. Our spirit's gonna show a swamp and a foil or rare. Zender Split Eye of Wisdom is our rare partner, along with right behind it, a Cohen Eye of Chaos. Very, very nice, very sweet. Congratulations to the partner lot winner. Very cool. And there's Out of Bounds with our Rocks Brute. And we're Legax. Oh. There's that in the gate. Lightning Talons and Mummy finishes us off right there. All right. A Warrior Token. Shows a Swamp and a Foil or Rare. Core Spirit Dancer. Yes. On that white slide, y'all, for a reason. That's what I'm talking about. Can we note that the uh, Tyrant is Foil under the Get the Sleeve section right there? Because that is definitely why we sleeve that guy up. Because it was shiny and new and wonderful. with a peace strider. Ah, yeah. Very nice. Let's see here. A spirit. Along with a planes. Shows a foil or rare. Grotesque mutation is foil. All right, that's cool. Showed up from uh, Shadows of Innerstrad. A rare. Together forever. Let me tell you, you support two, and you choose target creature with a counter on it. And if it dies, you return it to its owner's hand instead. That's fantastic. In a world where things are dying a lot. Good old plated crusher. Crushing it. Enthralling Victor. Very nice. Uh, one of Aaron's favorite warriors. Spoiler alert. Angelic Gift. With the Bloodseeker and the Duo. Oh, okay. It just has assist. It doesn't have a partner. I'm like, those are common partners and no one told me. And more Kraken Hatchlings. We're down to two packs left. Let's see if there's a true name or a doubling season hanging out in here somewhere. Maybe they're hiding. Maybe they're shiny. Who knows? We have a mirror into a forest, a foil or rare. Generous patron. Here's a battle for the support too. And whenever I put a counter on one or more creatures, you're drawing cards. That's awesome. Very nice. There's a soul blade corruptor along with a soul blade renewer. See, I caught it this time. Very nice. Sometimes I know what I'm doing and paying attention and all those things at once. Good old wrapping flames, bathing dragon fire, and flip, flip. Oh, and again, if something goes in the wrong pile, don't worry. We check them, including partners I know I've missed. Last pack of Battle Bond. This is it. This is the good goods. This is where they surprise us. At least I know I have been. We pulled out the last pack uh, Karn before. That's been a thing. When we were doing uh, Ultimate Masters, we had a box that had Liliana, Snapcaster, and Karn in it. It was nuts. Warrior is going to show a mountain. A foil or rare could be the final one. Peer, imaginative rascal. Yes! The rare, the rare peer with the rare toothy right behind it, as you should. Very nice. That partner pile got a little bit nicer right at the very, very end. I'll take it. Congratulations to that winner and so many more. As we finish out our last of the packs here for Dagger Basilisk and Nimbus, the Hatchling and the Stone Golem is our final card out of this Battle Bond booster box. If you could bring it back to me, please. We have a whole bunch of awesome stacks of magic cards here. Again, we will be going through these with a uh, fine tooth comb to find all of the partners that I clearly missed as we went through here. Hopefully there's not a lot and that they don't kill me over it. But I know that the uh, blue lot was quite sweet. Uh, as we know, there were mythic rares galore 
in that thing, uh, which was great. We had the um, the Arcane Artisan show up, one of the first ones, which was terrific. So congrats on that. But the winners, of course, here being a foily, shiny Tidespout Tyrant, which we got the sleeve for that, and the land tax, along with three beautiful dual lands. So congratulations to those winners. Very nice. The white pile ended up very cool as well. All right. So we're going to take a short, short break. This is where we're going to do some logistics and get these cards where needed to go, make sure we don't give the wrong cards to the wrong people, and yada, yada. But we'll be right back because it's time for Battle Bond number two, box number two. So please stick around. We'll be right, right back in just a moment. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Magical Mystery Auctions. I didn't think long at all, now did it. We are back here live in Orlando, Florida at CoolStuffInc.com headquarters. I am Evan Irwin, joined with my awesome crew, and of course, you guys at home watching the Magical Mystery Auctions of Battle Bond, which is right here, along with a Battle Bond box we just opened and auctioned off. And we have two, count them, two Ultimate Masters boxes coming. That's for just later today. Hope you guys are having fun hanging out here at the Cool Stuff Inc. Twitch channel. Feel free to give us a follow and you'll see a really cool animation show up on the screen, which is nice. But uh, that said, let's take a look at all the categories in which we're going to auction off Battle Bond. Now we just did this, so if you happen to be going through this second auction, it's deja vu all over again. We have the Multicolor, Colas, and Lands and Tokens pile, which actually ended up being a lot larger than I expected it to be. So uh, do note, there's plenty of value left in that sucker. Uh, we also do the partners with this one. Now the partners can show up in the uncommon slot, but also the rare slot, including the mythic rare slot with the, um, with the two awesome planeswalkers, the Kenriths, as it were. Uh, and then we're going to go through the white cards and the blue cards, the black cards, red cards, and green cards. Obviously, you know, with the, uh, the awesomeness of doubling season on top of the green cards, which is nice. But that said, get your bidding fingers ready. Let's go ahead and pull up the multicolor, colorless, and land slash tokens and make an auction, please. Now, we opened three of these dual lands last time, as well as last one standing showed up. That was really cool. Arcana Valor's Reach also showed up, which was great. So, uh, and an emblem. We got one of the emblems, too, which those are worth a non-zero amount of money. But this is your chance to get every single one of these types of cards I pull out of this booster box. Put an exclamation mark bid space a number, a whole number, in order to be involved. That's all it takes. There's a bot right there in the channel that's going to run this stuff for us. And hopefully you will be the top bidder. If it's foil, it's yours. A foil dual land is yours. We pulled two foil rares out of the last box. I'll take two out of this one as well. Thank you very much. If we get a foil mind's eye, well, you get to pimp that thing out amongst you and your friends. Whatever you happen to purchase it for is whatever you purchase it for, which is the beauty of these types of auctions. You get all sorts of cool stories about how you paid X for Y. We have amazing stories already of people getting Tarmogoyfs and snaring bridges and foil and snaring bridges out of the same box. Um, just a thing. It's really fun. Put an exclamation mark bid space a number to be involved. This is one of the sweetest categories, one of the highest value categories as you start to look and like, wow, there's plenty of just good multicolor cards. They're not necessarily even rare, a bunch of uncommons, and they're great to have as well. Um, and to get all of the lands and stuff and the tokens, there's a token and land in every single pack. Uh, these packs are structured weird, so you see the token and the land first, um, which gives us weird things where we going like, and the rare of Spell Snare. I'm like, wait, what? Because the foils are right behind the basic lands. That's cool. You are bidding on all of the cards in the current lot being multicolored, colorless lands and tokens from Battle Bond. Be involved in the fun. Exclamation mark bid space, a number. The highest one wins, of course. No uh, cents, please, just whole numbers. All right, congratulations to Z Wyvern 1, hey, buddy? <laughs> you, you won the auction, now you know what it's for. <laughs> That's great. That's fantastic. Let's bring up uh, the partners, shall we? and create an auction for those partners as well. Because good gosh, look at this right here. We pulled, we pulled four of the five. We pulled four of the five partners on this screen in our last box. That was four rare sets of partners that someone got for themselves. I think it's time for a Rowan and a Will to show up. That's what I'm saying because what generally happens is I'll kind of avoid a card or a set of cards and they'll kind of catch up to me. So like, for example, I never opened a Tarmogoyf from Ultimate Masters until I finally did. 
uh, which was right behind a foil ex engineered explosives because that's just kind of how we roll on this channel. Thank you very much. Uh, I open pretty decent. Uh, would love to open. Oh, moving the top bid. All right, get on this auction here, please. Exclamation mark bid space a number. It's going to get you involved. We fixed a small error here, so jump back in if you'd like to. But again, we pulled o Ocon along with Zender Split. We pulled Regna and Krav. We pulled Peer and Toothy. We pulled Sylvia and Corvath. All of those cards popped right out of those packs, which was great. Here's your chance to get involved on any of these sets of cards. There are also uncommon partners. Do note. Uh, also note that I missed a few when we opened our first box. I'll try not to this time. Uh, but do note we go through all the lots before we send them out in case there are mistakes being made. That said, exclamation mark, bid space a number. It's $5 shipping in the lower 48 US, $15 shipping anywhere on the world. As this is open product, not sealed product, I can send it anywhere. I can send it to Australia. I can send it to Europe, I can send it to China, like whatever. We can send it anywhere it needs to go. But again, I am hoping to pull the foiliest of foil Rowan and Will Kenriths. That would be amazing. I do not recall if, if one is foil, both are foil, but that would be fantastic. I, I literally don't remember. Um, it's a thing. That said, it's gonna be ending soon. Oh my goodness. Both are foil, very nice, Martin, thank you. Jumping in, did they get it in time? Remember, you too can have all of these cards coming to you that I might, that I may or may not be opening out of this booster box. I hope it's very good to all of us, to all of the winners of all of the different types. So many cool foily things, which are great. And yeah, knowing that both are foil is just, oh, that's just, that's just good clean living. You know what I'm saying? The idea that we got uh, Peer and Toothy showed up, which was great. I mean, I, I, that's my favorite pair personally, just because I think the art's fantastic, the story is great. Like it's, it's Toothy. It's the imaginary friend. It's his imaginary friend. It's great. It's an illusion. I love it. <laughs> they are fun. All right. Very nice. Congratulations to uh, Kevo Pavo. Please contact CSI underscore auction help. The user CSI underscore auction help can get you all the information for PayPal to get that payment sent. We don't open the box until we get all the payments, but usually that's not been too big of a problem. Let's bring up all the white cards, please. And who boy, did we see a few of these in the last box. We opened a land tax, I, we opened a play of the game, and we opened a core spirit dancer. All showed up out of the last box, which means it's time to catch up with that Brightling and that Arena Rector. The Arena Rector, I think, is just about ready to explode in price because we're having a set with 36 freaking Planeswalkers in it. And that, in and of itself, is going to be insane. So if you're ready to get that sweet, sweet value, get on it. Exclamation mark, bid space, and number gets you involved. Let's see what happens because the uh, the idea of just the idea of Arena Rector was like that's one of those cards that they make because it's so crazy overpowered, but in the world of Legacy and Vintage, it's not, which is in and of itself insane. But you know, it's it's great, it's fun, it's quote unquote abusable in a casual format, you know, as a one of. But that's that's all you need if you're looking for that Arena Rector. If it shows up foil, ooh. That is going to be some fan freak fantastic hype all up in this. And I am ready to bring it to you. I'm ready to open all of the Brightlings. That was a card that wasn't worth a lot at first. Everyone's just like, eh, it's like a weird morphling, whatever. And then somebody showed up and played it in Legacy, and they're like, wait a minute, that card does everything. And then it, you know, then it exploded. And here we are, seeing it on the slide as one of the Battle Bond white cards that you want to open, that you want to see. I am ready for that foil play of the game. Play of the game itself, like if you're playing on teams, that's just the sweetest wrath ever. I mean, actual ever. We'll both pay four and just get rid of everything. That sounds great. I am, I am up for that. That said, the core spirit dancer was awesome. Part of those sweet enchantment decks that you get. But uh, Arena Rector, man, that's, that's the one. And I love that we have certain types of words that are very important. Mox, for example, is very important. Sort of is a thing. And also Rector is a thing, where I guess you have broken white cards that put cards into play for free. That's, that's a thing. That's a trend now. That's what we have. Uh, that said, we are ending here soon. Our Battle Bond white cards, just you wait. And congratulations to Red Doyle. Big fan of the channel. Welcome back, buddy. And congratulations on winning all the white cards. Of course, see CSI underscore auction help so we can get all that stuff taken care of. Please bring up all the blue cards. And let me tell you, whew, 
And that first set, or that first box rather, we, we had quite the sweet blue opening. We had Spellseeker, we had Arcane Artisan, which is a mythic by the way, uh, and we had Soul of Temptation. And that means I'm ready to open that true name, that TNN. I'm ready to open the TNN that is hopefully shiny, along with Mystic Confluence, which is great. <clears throat> because there's just awesome blue cards in this set, and they can be superly foiled and be all yours, and that's great too. But uh, Spellseeker is sweet, big fan of that. True Name Nemesis, no business being blue. No business honestly being a card, in my opinion, you know, whatever. But they did stick it in a commander deck, and then they were totally uh, not, uh, they, were, they were very resentful. Uh, resentful's not the word. They were, um, they were very unhappy. That <laughs> They like, oh, we kind of spiked the one commander deck. It was kind of a thing. But now it's reprinted, and that's great. All right, clean space cup, please. Talk to CSI underscore auction help. Congratulations on winning all of the blue cards. Again, I feel ready to open those true names and mystic confluences for you. Please bring up all the black cards. All the black cards battle bond right here in front of you. You can start that auction. Thank you. We're going to have Arch Fiends of Despair. I, open one. I have not opened that one. We did open a stunning reversal. That was great. We did open a thrilling encore. That was also great. So those three there in the middle, those are the ones that I'm targeting. Those are the ones I want to see pop out of these packs. It's time for Evan to open up the foil arch fiend of despair so it too can be yours, which would be fantastic. Exclamation mark bid space, a number is your chance at getting every single black card out of this box of Battle Bond. Again, if you're just joining the channel, hi, I'm Evan Irwin. We're doing auctions right now for booster boxes uh, of, a ver of a variety, this one being Battle Bond and all of the black cards in these packs. Every single black card in these packs will be yours, uh, unless they are a partner, at which point we already auctioned off the partner cards, but everything beyond that, including the ones you see here, Diabolic Intent, Archfina Despair, and Nirkana Revenant being the all-stars there. Uh, the Stunning Reversal, of course, being a sweet mythic, and if any of these things come out shiny, then they are yours. And as we are wont to do, and not always, because we didn't get a non-foil Tide Spout Tyrant, but we often get a foil and a non-foil of the same card. Uh, of course, that's totally random, and this is confirmation bias the gathering, but the point is, uh, it's happened enough to where I go, wow, that's, that kind of keeps happening. We've got a foil Malfagor and a regular Malfagor. We've got a Magus of the Candelabra and a foil Magus of the Candelabra. Um, that was a thing that happened, just last box, as it were. Uh, but... The bids are over. Congratulations to Argent Griever, hey buddy, for winning the Battle Bond Black Cards. Congratulations. I hope, and I, I, hope I open tons of cool stuff for you. Let's bring up all the red cards, please, or at least the red cards of highlighting in Battle Bond. This, of course, showing Najila, the freaking Blade Blossom, who is amazing and did not show up in our last box. So I'm ready for Najila to pop out of this one. I'm ready for the foil Najila to pop out of this one. That's a $60 card, y'all. Like, it's sweet, don't get me wrong, but that foil version is just, oh, it's so good. Chain Lightning is an uncommon, and I opened at least one in the last box, as I recall. Uh, Stolen Strategy, we opened one of those as well. That was neat. Uh, War's Toll, I believe, is reprinted here, which is cool, and uh, Bonus Round is neat as well, as you're able to uh, copy things and stuff as you see fit. But uh, I think it's all about those foil Chain Lightnings and foil Najilos because I got to play in the Gila deck at GP Vegas, and oh my goodness, it was fun. I had just infinite fun doing crazy, weird, aggressive things. Uh, now, Gila don't slow down for nobody, and the Warrior deck can be ridiculous. We were playing 1v1, and wow, she's, she's quite the magic card, let me tell you. But that means we are going through all of the red cards in Battle Bond. You can be involved right now, be a part of the fun. Exclamation mark bid space, a number, a whole number. Again, five bucks to ship in the lower 48, 15 around the world. Here at the Magical Mystery Auctions on CoolStuffInc.com. And of course, we will be shipping these out tomorrow. Can't ship them out today. By the time we finish up today, we will be all out of time to get things out to the shipping services, but that means if you win one of these lots, you are able to go and then make an order on CoolStuffInc.com and then talk to customer service and tell them to put them together. Take that chocolate, take that peanut butter, smash it together, much like you smash that follow button, okay? You, you drop kick that follow button, just, just right off the top. Because if you do that, you can see a really cool animation that pops up on screen, so that'd be really sweet. All right, congratulations to Nazer Snab for coming back and winning another auction lot for the Battle Bond Red Cards. Please see CSI underscore auction help 
to get the payment and stuff arranged. If we could bring up all the black cards, or I'm sorry, all the green cards, uh, and start an auction for those. This is a biggie. We opened Bramble Sovereign, Greater Good, and Seedborn Muse and Vigor. Did we open Vigor? Yeah, we opened Vigor, didn't we? Yeah, we opened Vigor. Like, we, we opened a bunch of these cards, but what did we not open? What did we not open? We didn't open a double in season, y'all. I'm ready. My body is ready for the $80 foil to come popping out of this box. My body is ready to make it happen. Because, first of all, nice. In that last lot, which was great. There was value all up in it, which was fantastic. But who's to say I can't get a foil greater good or a foil vigor? I would be more than happy with that. Bramble Sovereign is one of those mythics that's kind of snuck up on a lot of people, but uh, it's, it's good, clean living, let me tell you. Dublin Season, though, is the all-star. That is the card I absolutely want to open out of here. This is the essentially the Tarmogoy for the set, if you will. Uh, this is the card I am most excited to say that I did open and are able to provide as a highlight to our auctions. That would be great, because um, we're not doing any more Battle Bond, at least for the near future. Uh, this will be the last box of Battle Bond we auction off for quite some time. So that means get in on it. Get your bids in, exclamation mark. Bid space a whole number is the secret sauce to getting into these auctions. Before we get to the goody goods of Ultimate Masters, it's time to stay in the goody goods of Battle Bond. The auction is ending soon. Your chance for the last lot of this set. Super neat Battle Bond itself. A whole set built around the sports arena world or something. Really odd uh, to reach the, the champions of the Valor's Reach Stadium. Valor's Reach. All right. Congratulations to Red Doyle. Hey, buddy, once again for getting all the green cards out of Battle Bond. As you are aware, please contact CSI underscore auction help. So we can get those payments arranged. If we can bring it back to myself, please. Hi, I'm Evan Irwin, coming to you live from Orlando, Florida, at the CoolStuffInc.com headquarters with all of the magical mystery auctions. We are here opening two Battle Bond and two Ultimate Master Boxes today. I am super pumped and excited to see what's going to pop out of this booster box here shortly. If you have won your bid, please get your payment in ASAP. But while we do that, we like to thank those who hang out and just watch me open cards. If you could please create a giveaway for a $25 gift certificate to CoolStuffInc.com. And all you got to do is hit exclamation mark enter on your keyboard in order to be entered into the giveaway. And that's what we do here because we're givers. Goodness, by God, we're, we're, we're givers of the giverness. We're going to give away that gift certificate to you because of logistics and like taxes and stuff. Like we're going to do like the giveaways over here and the auctions are over here and never the twain shall be meeting. So you can't pay for your auction bids with your gift certificates, but you can, as we mentioned, make an order on CoolStuffInc.com, talk to customer service. I, I won the red lot from Battle Bond and I want to get order number so-and-so combined. We can absolutely do that and you can do that in part thanks to this free giveaway from CoolStuffInc.com. Because we're just here, we're here about, you know, just rewarding you for hanging out. That's what we want to do because we're having fun. We get to open up magic cards in a way that and no one has corrected me, no one has ever done before. So if someone has done this before, please let me know, because I just, I want to know, because first of all, I'm a history buff. But secondly, you know, the idea that uh, you auction off magic cards in a very unique way, well, I love doing stuff that no one's ever done before. So that's pretty cool. That said, we're going to get these giveaways going. The exclamation mark enter is a way to get involved. You can win that thing, can order from CoolStuffInc.com. We have all the cool stuff yeah. Um, uh, on the website, including board games, card games, supplies, and all that stuff. We have Magic singles and whatnot. We even have Pokemon singles as well as Yu-Gi-Oh singles. There was a big sale on Final Fantasy singles, which was a thing. But uh, if you're not in there, let's do it. All right. Good to go? All right. Let's pick ourselves a winner. Let's see who won, and then let's see who really won by opening this box. That's what I'm talking about. Woot woot. I'm going to pick ourselves a winner. Congratulations to Imzine. Very nice. You have won yourself a free gift certificate. Please see CSI underscore auction help as they will not only help you with uh, payment arrangements and whatnot, they will also help you get your free stuff, which is awesome. But it's time to open up this box of Battle Bond. Oh yeah. There are, there are a few things as fun as, uh, as opening up booster packs. 
I, I tend to, to open pretty well, which is of course a bonus to the channel. It would, it would suck if I, if I was the, uh, the cooler, as they sometimes call them in the, the betting world. All right, oh neat. So you can take this part, I'm just looking at this because I hadn't seen it before. You can actually take this box apart and you got this whole thing here, which is really cool. You have uh, the competitors, and they're strong, and bash, and yes bash, which is really neat. That's super cool. I noticed that. All right. Pretty neat, pretty neat. There's the magical triangle. And here is the super cool box that I love. I love it. I'm going to pull these packs out of here for easy access. Keep them right here so you guys can see them, because I know that's a thing. We want to make sure we can see where all the packs are and our progress in them. All right, go ahead and get started. Very nice, came right open. That's a good thing. We have our warrior token showing us a swamp and a foil or rare. Sea of Clouds, yes! I want to start off with a land, please, thank you. We're gonna put these babies over here so we can keep track of them, because they're great, along with a gang up. Phantom Warrior, Aim High, Dwarven, Lightsmith, Good old rebukes. Sky Shroud claims and wraps in flames. If I do happen to run by a partner and not catch it, feel free to say something and we will fix that. Very cool. All right, go here to the warrior into a mountain and a foil or rare. Chain lightning, yes, please, yes. Woo! Pack number two. That's a foil chain lining. Ladies and gentlemen, just because I want to, I'm getting the sleeve on that one. Oh boy. That was on the red slide for a reason. Oh my goodness. Foil chain lightning, please and thank you. Nice. Freaking nice. Speaking of a nice rare, hello, Spellseeker. Okay, that sounds great. Congratulations to the blue lot winner. Jeez, along with the fog bank, which is really cool, and the step glider. Claustrophobia into the Hellion. Ooh, there's an Elvish Visionary. Very cool. And call to heal. All right, let's take a look here at a zombie giant with a planes and a foil or rare goblin raise runners. Not the first one we pulled out of here, but we'll see if it's the last. With an Oracle's Insight as our final uncommon. The Traveler who is so doomed and the Maggot that is so rot feasted. Ooh, there's a shock, that's always nice. Good old Coral Helm Guide, we got one foil in our last box. Call to Heal and a Peace Strider. All right. A zombie shows an island and a foil or rare spire garden. Yes, the red green dual land. We did not open in that last box. We opened in this one. Very, very nice. Congratulations to that lot's winner. Oh, and there is our first. I'm gonna put that land right over there. And that is our first uncommon partner of Lay Weaver and Lore Weaver. So we got our first partners underway. That's nice. Actually caught him this time. That's double nice. When Evan's actually paying attention, gall. There's a stone golem. All right. Very cool. As I destroy this pack, Rawr. warrior into a forest and a foil or rare. Wars toll. Very nice. That's on the red slide for a reason. That is a reprint, as I recall, and is certainly one that was uh, very anticipated. Just great. Flame Wave Invoker and a Charm Seeker. Good old Doom to center. Nimbus and Visionary. Ooh. And Omen Speaker. I see, I see Visionary and Omen Speaker together a lot. That's just a thing. I don't know if that's a, that's a print sheet thing or not, but they, they're frequently seen together. Not always, but frequently. All right, a Spirit Token into an island shows a foil or rare Doubling season, yeah, baby, woo, woo, who called it? Who called it to be called? We're getting the sleeve, we're getting the freaking sleeve, y'all. That's what I am talking about. 
Thank you very much. Oh my goodness. That is a freaking Dublin tea soon. Whoo, whoo, baby, whoo. Oh yeah, oh yes. That's the good goods right there. That's what we're talking about. Oh man, look at that, look at that, so good. Oh, Dublin season, baby. I was looking for you. I knew you was in there. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Wouldn't let me down. Oh gosh, and we got more partners even with a Soul Blade Corrupter and a Soul Blade Renewer. Very nice. Oh man, we are already off to a fantastic start, you guys. We got lands, we got a freaking Dublin season. This is great. This box is looking to be one for the books. And that's good because I don't know when we're gonna open another one, but gosh, with results like these, you know what I'm saying? Who oh boy, the warrior under the swamp shows a foil or rare. Primal hunt beast foil, all right, and a rare evil twin. Very cool, that is a fun reprint from I think the original Ravnica. Good old Out of Bounds says no. We got a Sphinx and a Slum Reaper which got knocked down to common, thank you Ultimate Masters. So that can be put into Popper. All right, Foil Ground is fun. Dagger Drone Imp and a Tyrant's Machine. Cool. Uh, it was a Spell Seeker earlier. A mountain. I'm going to show a foil or rare. Seedborn Muse. Yes, please. Thank you. That's on the green slide for a reason. Congratulations. Not only are you getting a doubling season, you're getting a Seedborn Muse right behind it. That's what I'm talking about. Very nice. Kiss of the Amisha is sweet. Good old angelic gift and your last gasps. Spis, 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 spis. Oh man, Thunderstrike is sweet. Impulse into Dragon Hatchling into a Consulate Skygate. Man, we're just a few packs in. All the good goods. Warrior into a Plains with a foil or rare. Will Kenrith, yes, please, thank you. That means there's a row in Kenrith. Get out of here, holy cow. Yes, please, the sleeve, we're getting the sleeve right now. We're getting the sleeve right this moment for not only Will, but also Rowan, Kenrith, please, and thank you. Oh my gosh, who doesn't love the Planeswalkers? See, that, that partner stuff, that partner stuff comes through. Might take a box, but we got there. That's what I am talking about. Thank you so very much. Oh, that is beauty. Oh, oh, so pretty. So pretty. I love it, I love it, I love it. Right on top of our doubling season are the Planeswalkers. Oh, so good. My gosh, I love it. This is the, the fun we get to have together, hanging out on stream. And again, if you haven't followed us, so you make sure you catch every single one of these, please do so. You get a really cool animation on screen as well. Whoa. <laughs> With a mirror into oh, a basic forest, which you're gonna show a foil or a rare of Sower of Temptation. Oh man, I guess we're just gonna pull all the rares that are on the slides because you know, why not? That's what we're here to do. That's a terrific blue rare, congratulations. All right, to that lot's a winner. Well done, good job, that's awesome. Good old Will with, Phil with Fright, Fright filling. What were you doing? Oh, filling the Fright up, you know. We were low on Fright, had to fill it right up. All right, next pack. A warrior shows us a swamp and a foil or rare. Enduring Scale Lord is our foil, that's a pretty cool foil, with a rare last one standing. Yes please, that was in that slide. As we mentioned, we're just, we're mono sliding right now. Just mono sliding through last one standing. I'll take it, that's great. Along with a Battle Rattle Shaman and Battle Mastery. Woof. All right, we totally lost as we return to the earth. And there's a benthic giant to finish us off. Very nice. Let's get going with a spirit into a island that shows a rare or foil. Luxury sweet. Yes, please and thank you. Again, we're just mono sliding it. This box is gonna be freaking great. 
we have our second dual land of the box. It's gonna slide that bad boy right over there underneath the other one. You can see it in the background there. Good gosh. With our plated crushers and our opportunities. Oh my goodness. This box is sweet. So sweet. I will take it. We're talking about Commander Masters here, people. That's what we're doing. Oops, I put that in the wrong spot. Again, if I do put something in the wrong spot, don't worry. We go through them. We make sure I didn't mess anything up. Sometimes I do. Yeah. We are going to do a beast into a swamp and a foil or rare. Core Spirit Dancer. Yes, please. Woo! They're just, they're all on the slides, guys. They're just, that's where they are. It's just the good goods are right here with a Core Spirit Dancer for the White Lot winner. Congratulations. A beast within with all new artwork which is great. I love it. This box is terrific. I'm happy to open one of the best boxes I've seen so far right now, and we're just getting started, really. Look at all these packs. So many to go. A zombie shows a mountain and a foil or rare. Mycosynth Lattice. Yes, that is a mythic, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I'm talking about. So, so good. Congratulations to the multicolor slash land slash colorless winner, uh, or bid winner rather, because you got yourself a Minko C lattice. That's awesome. Whew. Woof, woof, woof. There's a juggernaut on top of your Minko Sink lattice. Very cool. Bathe in dragon fire as you do. Get a little canopy. Spider. Hello, Crocs. That was the second. Oh, what is it? The third? Yeah, it is the, the third duel of the box. I'm sorry. <laughs> Spire, Gold, Spire Garden, rather, is also in there along with Sea of Clouds. So, yeah, I mean, you know, I just forgot a duel land. That's how good this box is already. Um, planes, I'm going to show a foil or rare. A Raptor Companion is foil. Shiny, shiny. A rare. Magus of the Candelabra. Not the first we opened today. In fact, we opened a uh, foil version earlier. Now, now we have the Chakram Retriever and the Chakram Slinger as the partners. So for the partner lot winner, who's already made out <laughs> with the Rowan and Will Kenrith pull from earlier. So congratulations on that. We have our Sears Lantern, the Lynx that is so frosty. And there's that Peace Strider once again. He's just asking to give him a chance, all right? That's all he's saying. Okay, we have a beast token into an island and a foil or rare. Play of the game. Yes, please. I will take only cards that have appeared on slides. Thank you very much. That is a fantastic white card. One of the best rares in the set you could pull. And there's a Swords to Plowshares right behind it because that white rare lot winner or that white lot winner needed more stuff to brag about. That's what I'm talking about. Peregrine Drake, they tried to put in Popper for about 10 minutes and it broke everything, which was unfortunate. Get a little Urborg Drake into an Omen Speaker, Elvish Visionary into a Nimbus, and a Kraken Hatchling. All right. It may look a little strange. That could be due to lighting, the way the camera is angled, stuff like that. Excuse me. A foil or rare. Vigor, thank you. Man, we are firing on all the cylinders, you guys. Holy cow. That is a Vigor, and that is terrific. And we have a Impetus Protege and a Proud Mentor, another one I missed in that previous box. I ain't missed on this time. Another for the partner pile. Congratulations on that. But of course, the biggest congrats for the Kindreths, sister and bro, as we pulled those out earlier. Good old Basilisk into a stalwart. And there's Dragon Hatchling to finish this out. All right. Impetuous? Is it impetuous? It is impetuous, isn't it? Swamp is a, shows a foil or rare. Mangara of Corridor. Yes, please. Very nice for the white deck. Or for the white bin uh, winner, as it were. Congrats on getting your legacy playable rare. Good old combo attack is neat. 
Nightmares Negate, and Night Market Guard shows a Battle Rampart. All right. Impetuousness. So impetually. Impetuousness. All right. We have a Spirit Token showing a Mountain and a Foil or Rare. Pure Imaginative Rascal, which means right behind it is Toothy, our imaginary friend. Woo! Congratulations to the partner lot winner. You got yourself two more excellent rares. That is fantastic, as we have the old Fumble and the Champion of Arishan. Very neat. I love that new artwork on Last Gasp. Very cool. Charging Rhino into the show off. Good old, oh, that Rhino is not in the right spot. And the Tyrant's Machine and the Call Key. Man, let's keep rocking. Warrior. I'm going to show a foil or rare. Magmatic Force. That's a big giant monster. An 8 mana 7 7 that's dealing 3 to something every single turn. I'll take it. With your inner demons. And the sickliest of dancers. As they are want to be. Impulse is great, along with a Dagger Drone Imp and a Consulate Skygate. Okay, we have our Zombie showing a forest. And behind that is a foil or rare, or sometimes foil rare. Generous Patron. Very cool green card behind your doubling season at all, as it were. Good old bring down with the Huntus Wumpus. Aurora Champion is a neat little card. Centaur Healer from Return to Ravnica is great. It's crazy that Return to Ravnica was like, what, seven years ago or something stupid? Ugh. Long days and short years is what they say for the parents of the world. And it uh, seems to apply to magic as well. There's a really cool emblem to go along with that sweet Rowan and Kenrith. And the Swamp's going to reveal a foil or rare. Korboth's Fury. Very neat. Big time sorcery that shows us, chooses a friend or a foe. There's Enthralling Victor. You'll learn more about that this week on Magic Mike's on our top 10 warriors. Which, spoiler alert, may or may not be included in there. Particularly for Aaron, as you will find out. Alright, we have our Charging Rhino and our Market Guard along with our Talents. Keep it moving. Warrior into Island into a foil or rare. Mind's Eye. Yes, please, and thank you. That is a fan freaking tastic pull. Congratulations again to the Colorless and Lands lot winner because you got some goody goods on this one. Wow. Okay. That card is on the slide. And there's the Swords to Plowshares. Yeah. Woo woo. Oh man, never bad to pull the swords. And I'm super glad, honestly, these days that Swords are still in packs. That's just, it, it makes me just kind of reminiscent, to be honest, to, uh, to the old 90s. And there's our Consulate Skygate. Okay. Bring up that Mirror Token into a Mountain. And a Rare or Foil. Virtus the Veiled. Ooh. And Virtus the Veiled is a partner, which means right behind it, is Gorm the Great. So between Virtus and Gorm, the partner winner gets another pair of rares. Congratulations on that. Along with our Trumpet Blast, which is uncommon in this set, which is weird. But I guess in a set around two at a giant, that card's pretty good. Because it basically boosts your team at that point. All right, moving here to another pack of goodness. A zombie is going to show a planes in a rare or foil. Greater good. Oh man, alongside your doubling season, you get a greater good right behind it. I will take it. Along with a veteran explorer also right behind it in that green lot where you just made out now, didn't you? Good gosh. That is fantastic. I love it. Congrats to all those who are getting their sick, sick lots today. I continue to open fairly well. Let's see if we can keep that streak running. <clears throat> of course, this is just going to run right into Ultimate Masters. We're going to be doing Ultimate Masters here in a little bit, so that should be fun. A Swamp is going to show a foil or rare. 
Breitling. <laughs> Woo, that's what I'm talking about, y'all. Let's get the sleeve on that one. That's a Breitling. We're going to sleeve that baby up. Look at that white pile. Mm. So good. That's the mythic. That's what we wanted. Yes, please, and thank you. That's a Breitling. I will take it. Oh, look at this box. This box is given. Given and given and given. Whew, what hype we didn't get in box one. We're certainly getting it back in box number two. Good gosh. Good old Royal Trooper with your fan favorite. Oh, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That gargoyle finishes us off. Uh, the Great Fosto, they do not, unfortunately. These are completely separate from CoolStuffInc.com purchases that go towards your customer rewards. All right, the island is going to show us a foil or rare Mind Blade Render. This card is very sweet, especially with Najila, which I hope to open before we're done. I would love to do that, particularly for the Red Lot winner, so that they can have that. Good old shock. Along with Sky Shroud Claim, the Primal Hunt Beast, we got Foil. I can't remember if we got it Foil in this one or the last one. We got it last one. Okay, we have our Warrior into a Forest and a Rare or Foil. Battle Rampart is Foil. That is not Rare, thankfully. And our Rare is... Magmatic Force number two. Okay. Another one of these bad boys. Rare. Along with an uh, impetuous protege. Mm -hmm. Along with a proud mentor. That's our second copy of those partners. Goes to the partner pile. Congratulations to the partner winner. Partner lot winner, as it were. As we certainly did pull the Planeswalkers for you. Came right out of my hands. And there's a Peace Strider. Let's keep rocking and rolling here. We have a zombie giant that's going to show a planes, and behind it is a foil or rare Archon of Valor's Reach. That was on that slide for a reason, and it is here before you now, along with all those sweet lands. You also get all the multicolor cards, just like this one. This card's a giant monster, and there's another chain lightning like we got it in foil earlier. Yes, please, thank you. I'll take the foil and the non-foil. Like we said earlier, we have a penchant for opening the foil and the non-foil versions of stuff. That's just confirmation bias. I get it, but it's still cool to me. Good old Eye Blight Assassin. The Legac. And Nimbus with Expedite. And the Kraken Hatchling is our final card. All right. The box out of land tax, absolutely. That last box wasn't awful. It was just that this box seems insane. All right, Planes is going to show us a rare or foil. Corvath Bright Flame, which means behind it is Sylvia Bright Spear. Congratulations again to the partner lot winner. You're getting all the goodies. We have almost every rare set of them, uh, which is amazing. So congrats on that one. Pulsum Rasa right there for Popper. Good old Last Gasp. Get the Rhino. And the huddle ups with your ramparts with just poor old foil. That's always nice. Okay, let's see if we can get this bad boy under control. We have a spirit token, and a forest is going to show a Najila baby. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's just keep it going. Let's just keep it going. I just can't handle it. Najila is terrific. Congratulations, the Red Lot winner. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Yes, please, along with a Spell Snare, which is a terrific pull for the Blue Lot winner. Oh, my gosh. That's Najila, baby. That card is so good. So good. I love it. I love it. I love it. My gosh. There's an Impulse here, along with a Crawl Warrior. Didn't come. Let's see. Benthic Giant goes right there. Yeah. Najila, baby. Oh. Na 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 na. You want to have a mountain show a foil or rare? Call to heal is foil, which is neat. And a rare? Victory Chimes. Very cool, very nice. Gives players mana if you want them to have some mana. That's nice. Along with a switcheroo. 
or continue to fill with all the fright, please. Thank you. I'll take one good fright to fill me up. All right. We have, there's that hunt beast once more. And the talons. Okay. Rockin'. We have a total of three packs after this one. We have a warrior token showing an island and a foil or rare Nixithid. Very cool. Very nice. Congrats to the Black Lot winner on that one. All right. Let's keep on rocking here. Get our Ember Beasts and our Sky Shroud claims directly from, I think that's Mercadian Masks. Some old school reprints up in here. And there's a Sparring Mummy all the way from Amonkhet. Okay. Have our Zombie Token. That's going to show a land of Swamp. And a rare or foil, Piers Wim. That's a rare foil right there. Woo, very nice. A foil rare, ladies and gentlemen, that's nice, along with a actual rare that's not foil of Noose Graph Mob. Very cool. Again, once again, for the Black Lot winner, way to go. We have our Colin Dias, along with our Lava Field Overlord. Kite sail showing up from Ixalan, which is always cool. There's our Legac, keeping it Legacy, wacky Legacy, and our club security, which still cracks me up. Okay, we have pulled so much goodness out of this box. My gosh, we have a warrior showing on a mountain and a rare or foil Sentinel Tower. That's the one you big you build you build the big old bunch of spells and uh, and hurt your opponent as a result. This is the Royal Trooper. All right, bathe in that dragon fire. Just bathe in it. And a Pierce Strider, which isn't as cool as the Peace one. Here's our final pack, ladies and gentlemen, from this terrific box of Battle Bond. Oh my goodness. We have a forest going to show a foil or rare Virtuous Virtu, Virtuous Maneuver. This is a friend or foe spell, once again, for the Black Lot winner. Very cool. Would like to congratulate all of those who got so many awesome things out of this box, including that doubling season that we were hoping for. Happened to be right in there, which was great. And there's a call to heal that we got foil earlier which was also really cool. Let's go ahead and try to get these lots together a little bit. If you could please bring it back to myself. Hello, everybody. I'm Evan Irwin. If you just joined us, we are doing magical mystery auctions. That means we are auctioning off portions of booster boxes, sealed booster boxes, into different lots. Uh, for example, for this one, for Battle Bond, because it was very unique and had partners, which means they show up together in packs, Someone got all of the partners that we opened in the box, and that's all of them, including, of course, the, Kith, the, uh, the Kenrith twins, I believe they're twins, uh, of the Planeswalker variety, which is amazing. And of course, not only that, we got three dual lands, including my favorite, the Luxury Suite. That's those, very cool. Along with, of course, the season that doubles, you guys. Doubling season, very, very nice. Along with a foil chain lightning. Yes, that's shiny. And there's that brightling. Very, very nice. So we had what I would describe as a pretty freaking fantastic box. So congratulations to all of the winners of their respective lots because I think you killed it no matter where you sliced and diced on this one. But that said, we are going to take a very short break and we're going to be back right here to auction off two boxes in a row of Ultimate Masters. And you know it don't get no crazier than Ultimate Masters. You guys join me here right here in just a few minutes. Hello everybody and welcome back to our Magical Mystery Auctions here live at CoolStuffInc.com headquarters in Orlando, Florida. I'm Evan Irwin and we are bringing you today four different booster boxes, two of which we have already opened, including one of the most insane Battle Bond boxes ever, including Doubling Season, Brightling, and Friends. You can see that on the channel if you would like. But we got to move on. We got to keep this hype train rolling. There are no breaks 
for this train, y'all, because we have ourselves an Ultimate Masters booster box, and mm, it's it's just it's so good. It's always fun. It's always good. There's always going to be exciting stuff popping in this box due to its very very nature. Let's take a look at how we're going to slice and dice this box of Ultimate Masters and what you can bid on. Now we're going to start with the box topper, and box toppers. Oh yes, are always fun, always exciting. <clears throat> Knock on table, we have yet to crack the uh, Lava Claw Reaches or any of that sort. Uh, probably our worst is either Maelstrom Pulse or Venge Vine, something like that. Uh, but we did pop out a, uh, a Cavern of Souls. That was a real thing, that was fun. Uh, but we'll go over that first, but we'll open it last because it should be the, the cherry on top of the box, as it were. Then we'll go to the Colorless slash Lands slash Tokens and Emblems uh, because that seems to be a very expensive category, and we want to make sure that if you are interested interested in it and you don't get there, you can still have time to bid on the other categories. Then we'll talk about all the multicolored cards. We have pulled multiple Fulminator Mages, including a foil Fulminator Mage from these boxes before, uh, along with our white, blue, black, red, and green. Of course, followed the ending there with our big boy Tarmogoyf that we finally pulled just a few weeks ago, which was fantastic. But first, we get started with the box topper. If you could please bring the box topper slide up. And as you see, these are the good good. These are all foil. These are shiny. We have pulled a Noble Hierarch out of there. We've pulled a Demonic Tutor out of there. Um, we've not pulled a Karn. I'm ready for that. We've not pulled a Tarmogoyf. Also ready for that. Uh, Dark Depths would be amazing. <clears throat> so there's a bunch on here that we have yet to pull. The first box topper I have ever opened, no joke, had a Liliana of the Veil in it. It's on my desk right now. <laughs> which was great. But you want to get in on this as your chance to get whatever box topper I happen to flip up. If I flip up that car, if I flip up another Cavern of Souls, somebody got themselves a deal on a box topper Cavern of Souls. Like that, that's a thing. They got that story forever because they easily doubled, tripled their money, something like that. I can't remember exactly what it went for, but uh, it, was, it was Cavern of Souls goodness and, uh, and they made out. So that's terrific. <coughs> Exclamation mark bid space a number is so you can get in on the fun. Um, the box topper slide actually has includes foils on it. They're all foil. That's okay. That was a, that was a small mistake, but uh, they are still foil, just so you know. Uh, but that will be the last thing that we open up for the auctions. Exclamation mark bid space a number is your chance to be involved, to be the one, the one and only person who wants to see what comes out of that singular pack. There could be an ancient tomb lurk lurking in there. Maybe a mana vault would be good. But I'm ready to crack open the Karn. I'm ready to crack a Karn. We haven't done that yet. We have yet to open a Snapcaster Mage. I would be happy to open a Box Topper Snapcaster Mage for you. That would be terrific. We uh, came rolling here with uh, Liliana of the Veil is beautiful. And while I have opened one myself, it wasn't on camera. We should open one on camera. Doesn't that sound good? Let's do that. That sounds like super duper fun. Something that we can get to clip <clears throat> and uh, can see and watch forever and ever of the exciting moment when we pull the best box topper possible. Be pretty, pretty sweet. That said, the auction's ending soon. If you want to be involved, now's the time. All right, and congratulations to ZWyver1. Hey, buddy, how you doing? I hope I pull something terrific for you. I will do my very, very best. And by that, I mean I will open the pack and we'll see what's in it. That said, let's bring up all of the colorless slash lands. Whoo boy, this is the big money. This is big, big money time. This is the lot that you want to bid on because the ceiling is so high. Yes, I pulled a foil engineered explosives out of these packs. That's a thing, a mana vault out of these packs, a Karn, yes. I don't know, actually, if I pulled a, a non-foil Cavern of Souls, I don't, I'm not sure if I pulled a non-foil. I don't recall. So, <clears throat> you know what that means. You know what that means. It means it's time to go ahead and open up one of those Cavern of Souls and go to anyone who happens to win this lot. We get the Phyrexian Altars. That card is stupidly expensive and only getting more expensive because it goes in any EDH deck ever, and it's amazing. And if these things show up in foil, if there is a foil car in this box, it is yours. You get to bring that baby home. You get to tell all your friends, all your friends, F-A-R-N-S, all your friends, get to know exactly what came out of here. I have pulled all of the, uh, I think I've pulled all the Eldrazi except Kozilek. 
um, but that could be incorrect. I'm not sure. I've definitely pulled Ancient Tomb. Uh, I've not pulled the Dark Depths, but I have pulled Caracas, I think, a few times. All right. Congratulations to Z Wyvern 1 yet again, buddy. You're just coming in hot. Let's go ahead and bring up all the multicolor cards. This is the multicolor card lot. Feel free to bid right now, exclamation mark, bid space, a number, if you want to get involved. Uh, please see CSI underscore auction help after you have won your bid to get information on payment and things. Uh, that said, this is for all the multicolor cards that come out of this box. We've definitely opened, I want to say, every card I see here except Lord of Extinction. I believe we have opened all of those at one point or other, which is good. And again, Full Lantern Mage, I've pulled a foil of Full Lantern Mage, <clears throat> as well as multiples of those. Leobold has shown up for sure, along with Gadok Teague, who's sweet, good old Slippery Bogle with the new artwork, which is nice. The Vengeful Rebirth with the new artwork from Seb McKinnon, which is amazing. Uh, so that's terrific. Remember, get in your bids now, exclamation mark, bid space a number for every multicolor card that pops out of here, including the foils. As mentioned, the foil foam liner mage is pretty tasty, and somebody got one for a steal using their bids on this Ultimate Masters booster box. Crack all the colorless monstrosities. Well, we will certainly try, and I hope they're shiny just for you. There is a foil in every single pack in Ultimate Masters, which gives us, obviously, a much higher chance of getting a foil Kitchen Finks, for example, or a foil Slippery Bogle. Like, those are still fantastic cards and pricey cards in their own way. And that said, congratulations to Red Doyle, friend of the channel, for winning this lot of multicolored cards. Let's go ahead and bring up all the white cards, please, along with that white auction. As you see before you, we have some sweet white cards available in this set. We have Containment Priest, which we have definitely opened multiple times on camera, along with Daybreak Coronet and Arun Halo. Emancipation Angel is, of course, hanging out because it's an angel, and everybody loves angels the same reason Rhea Dawnbringer is on here. They printed that thing a million times, like approximately a million times, and it's still good, and it's still worth money because people just love their angels. It doesn't matter if they're a million mana. It's like their Sublime Archangel. That's a fantastic angel. Limited super bomb, and it's still an angel. People are going to love that as well. Exclamation mark bid space and number is how you get involved with this white bid. Again, every white card, whether or not it is shiny, will all go to you for the low, low price of whatever the bid ends up being. Uh, we've pulled a foil wall of reverence before. That was pretty neat. Uh, lots of Revel arcs. I recall multiple Revel arcs. Even, I think, during the same day, we pulled multiple Revel arcs. Uh, Martyr of Sands is a terrific common, of course, because you don't play with one Martyr of Sands. You only play with zero or four that, those are your two options, essentially. Of course, we have Fiend Hunter, uh, who is a fantastic card. Originally showed up in Innistrad. Innistrad, yes? Good. All right, good old, good old memory. Still working a little bit there. Uh, that said, it's ending soon. If you want to get in there. All right, congratulations to Shandy Sorry to, uh, for winning the white cards in this Ultimate Masters booster box. Congratulations. Please see CSI underscore auction help. It's $5 shipping to the lower 48 or $15 anywhere on the planet. Let's bring up all the blue cards and you know what's waiting. You know what's in there at Snapcaster. You know what I'm saying? We did open a box. Kid you not. You can go back and watch. We opened a box with not only a Snapcaster, not only a Liliana of the Veil, but also a Karn. A Karn was in the last pack. It was ridiculous. It was just ridiculous. So Snapcaster Mage is a thing. We've definitely pulled back to Basics and Glenelinger Archmages, Visions of Beyond, multiple sleight of hands, a foil sleight of hand even. That was fun. Uh, of course, Circular Logic and a foil with new artwork by Donato Giancola, which is fantastic. Dig Through Time, whose artwork I still don't understand. Doesn't match the booster box uh, key art. But you know, whatever, that's that's the one song wizard. It's not on me. It's fine. Exclamation mark bid space a number. And again, if that snappy happens to be shiny, then congratulations. A winner is you, as they used to say on the old wrestling games. The, uh, the idea of getting a uh, shiny temporal manipulation sure is exciting. I'll take that. We opened a foil Visions of Beyond, for example. That was a thing that happened. Uh, really did right here on this channel. Because again... The Back to Basics finally got reprinted. Yay, finally, finally, finally. That was, that was awesome. Thank you, Wizards, for finally doing that. Uh, but that said, congratulations to Hawabaji for winning all the blue cards that are in this booster box. Please contact CSI underscore auction help to find out and arrange payment stuff. Let's bring up all the black cards, and you know who's the top of that chain. Originally, 
Ultima Masters was Immortal Masters. And that means it's a graveyard set. And that means Liliana and friends, along with Exhum, I think it's, no, along with Entomb, Reanimate. Of course, we have Bridge from Below, along with Buried Alive, which says hello to all of your phoenixes. Uh, Golgari Thug, which is amazing. And Bridge from Below, Micaeus we pulled, I think, out of the last box, which is cool. We got that Goryo's Vengeance with that super creepy artwork, which is great. But of course, Lily stands on top. And Liliana, Liliana of the Veil has been pulled from these boxes before and will be pulled again, I'm sure. Whether it's today or it's this time, we're going to find out. But if you want to get in on that demonic tutory goodness, there's only one way to do it. Exclamation mark bid space a number gets you in on the auction. Anybody on the planet can be involved. Do note, uh, as someone asked earlier, this unfortunately does not tie into CSI, uh, CSI customer rewards, but... That means you're still getting a super sweet deal on an awesome lot of cards and includes every single foil. If we get a foil Golgari Thug, which again, there's a foil in every single booster pack, it will be yours, which is fantastic. Want to bid, exclamation mark bid space a number to be involved. We have ourselves a sweet reanimate. We have an awesome Entomb, again with Seb McKinnon awesome artwork, which is fantastic. But the idea of getting a Bitter Blossom would be nice. Um, <clears throat> let's see, if we're going to do the, uh, have I opened it yet, uh, I think I have not opened a Bitter Blossom, I'm, I think, as I recall. I definitely remember opening a Micaeus and opening every other one of these cards. Did I open one? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a, I think it was from the, the last one, wasn't it? There you go. Got to jump in there with those bids, y'all, because I want to open good, awesome, shiny, fantastic rares for you, along with fantastic uncommons, like Chainer's Edict and Golgari Thug with new artwork which looks great. And of course I want to get them all shiny because who doesn't want them shiny? Like you want a shiny buried alive? Well, here is your chance. In case there's one in this box, it will be and can be yours. We have opened all of the cards that you see on the screen at one point or other. I think in Goryeo's Vengeance, I think we opened a Goryeo's Vengeance. It's the only one I had a question mark. Yeah, we opened Goryeo's, very nice. Well, there you go. So this is your chance to get involved in all of the black cards, because again, this was the graveyard set. This was Immortal Masters, and there ain't nothing more immortal than the black cards, let me tell you. They are, it's getting hot and heavy up in here. Exclamation mark bid space A number is your chance to be involved in the magical mystery auctions. Because master sets, man, there ain't no master set like Ultimate Masters. They just like, we're just throwing everything. The, the kitchen sink, all of it, just go. And they did, and it was great. And so you have yourselves Lily and Demonic Tutor and Bitter Blossom, which is fantastic. Oh my gosh. And Bridge from Below, because you know, again, you don't run one bridge from below. That's not how it works. You're running the full boat, or you're running zero. And get yourself in there. The auction's ending soon. Oh my goodness. Here we go. And the winner is, congratulations to J.S. Saren, if I'm saying that correctly, for winning all of the black cards. I'm going to pull out of this Ultimate, Booster, Ultimate Masters booster box. Please see CSI underscore auction help to arrange payment and shipping and all that good stuff so we can get that underway. We can't open the box until all the payments have been received. That said, let's bring up all of the red cards, please. We are now going to bid on all of the red cards exclamation mark bid space a number is going to get you in there through the breach we have opened so many through the breaches i mean so many this is one of those things where i i am not exactly sure why but man i can open me a through the breach a lot a whole bunch lava spikes absolutely in there desperate ritual we pulled foils of that before uh balefire dragon is in there again that's an awesome dragon that while not well maybe not the most expensive card in the set is certainly a casual all-star uh, seismic assault's been in there squee we've opened along with gambles of course faithless lootings uh, which missed the banning today i was shocked literally shocked they did not ban faithless looting but you have modern horizons <clears throat> on the horizon if you will so that said we want to get involved in this exclamation mark bid space a number to get all of the red cards if the through the breach that i open that i tend to open a lot happens to be foil, well then here is the story that you get to tell, is that you were live on the CoolStuffInc.com Magical Mystery Auction, you threw out a number, and you got there, and you got the bid, and then you get to watch me open crazy awesome stuff for you. Very nice. 
We are almost done here. And then in five seconds. All right, congratulations to Argent Griever, hey buddy. I think you know the you know the drill. Contact and CSI underscore auction help to uh, get all that stuff arranged. Let's bring up all of the green cards. Oh my goodness, this is the last lot of the box. If you are waiting to jump in, if you are wanting to say, hey, I love me a Tarmogoyf and Evan has opened a Tarmogoyf on camera, let's do it again. I am ready to do so for you. Every single one of these cards have been opened on camera at some point or other, and that's a good thing. We have our Vinge Vines to our Noble Hierarchs, which are great. And by God, if we're going to run us back a GP Top 8 Foil Tarmogoyf, now would be the time. Now would be the time. <clears throat> that Green Fever is so good. Oh my goodness. We got Leaf Dog, hashtag Leaf Dog, up there with Eternal Witness, which is terrific. We have Kodama's Reach with that amazing new artwork that I absolutely love. Devoted Druid is back, and I'm pretty sure that's brand new artwork as well, which is great. Um, Gogari Grave Troll never looks so good. I mean, they, they had to ban it from Modern because it's a little busted, but that doesn't mean you don't see playing Legacy and Beyond. That's a thing. You're going to need that stuff. <clears throat> but if you want to get on there on every green card that I open out of this box, including old Vinji, old Tarmogoyfi, and man, I have pulled a lot of Noble Hierarchs in my day, then uh, let me be the person to open it for you. That's my job here, is to open up the packs. I get to be lucky. I get to professionally be lucky. That's what I get to do here. And it turns out I'm pretty decent at it, which is a good thing. But uh, get your bids in now. Exclamation mark bid space and number. Again, this is the final lot of this Ultimate Masters booster box. After that, we're going to have to wait until all the payments show up and we have a special giveaway while we wait. But we'll get there in a minute. Right now, we're talking about every green card. If Noble Hierarch is shiny, who boy, what a story you have for you and your friends. Oh my gosh. Got to do it by hanging out here live at the CoolStuffInc.com channel for the Magical Mystery Auctions here in Orlando, Florida. I'm Evan Irwin. If you're just joining us, welcome. We're auctioning off parts of booster boxes. We call it the Magical Mystery Auction. It's a little weird, but it's a lot of fun for those who are involved. We've been doing this for a few weeks now. We are doing the final week here until War of the Spark. So this is your chance for some of the final auctions that we get to do between now and May. <clears throat> All right, congratulations to Clean Cup. For once again, winning a lot, you know the drill. Please contact CSI underscore auction help and we will get you all of those details. If you can bring it back to me, please. Hi, I'm Evan Irwin. As mentioned earlier, here in Orlando, Florida, hanging out with you guys. And what we want to do as we wait all the payments to get in and all that stuff is we want to give away a gift certificate to CoolStuffInc.com, a $25 gift certificate just for hanging out. That's, that's just for hanging out in open packs. That's what we do here. We give away stuff. Thank you for hanging out. It could be anywhere on Twitch, anywhere on the internet, anywhere in the world, but you're right here with me. This old Southern guy hanging out in Florida, opening packs of magic cards. Tell you what, now, due to <clears throat> don't cross the streams, something, something taxes, something, something accounting, you can't use the gift certificate on any lot that you bid on. It's, it's just a thing, it's whatever. Like you're still getting free stuff. I mean, free stuff is free. But what you could do is if you win one of these lots, you could go and make an order on CoolStuffInc.com and then tell our customer service peeps, hey, I won all the red cards or whatever from the ultimate, the first Ultimate Masters booster box. And I have order number X and I would like to put them together and send them together. We can absolutely easily do that. If you wanted to pick up these at the store, you can do that as well. Exclamation mark enter is the way to get entered into the giveaway. Don't do it twice. It doesn't help. But, uh, but that said, we are, we're here to, you know, just let you guys know that we appreciate you. You know, not everybody gets to bid, not everybody gets to win, not everybody has the money to be involved, but I can give you free money just for hanging out with me. Again, here live at the CoolStuffInc.com headquarters. We are here auctioning off boxes. This is the Ultimate Masters Booster Box that we're going to open here in just a minute. <clears throat> if you have won your bids, for each of those lots, please see CSI underscore auction help. Make sure we get all those payments in because once all the payments are in, it's time to open the box. And I'm ready to see what craziness is going to be involved in this here master's box. Oh no, automatic lights are automatic. Yeah. <clears throat> As it turns out, you don't have to move a lot when you're auctioning off stuff. So, um, and those, are, those lights are motion activated, which is a bummer. Well, thank you so much, Mr. LeBoufu. Uh, you are awesome. 
and <clears throat> I am here, ready to go. How are we doing? Got a couple people out there, so if there is anyone who is listening to me right now and you have won a bid and you have not sent in your payment, please see CSI underscore auction help. I, along with others, would love to open this box as soon as possible. If you have not been entered in the giveaway, please do so, exclamation mark enter, to be involved in the giveaway for a free gift certificate to buy anything that you want, anything your heart desires on CoolStuffInc.com. We've got RPGs, we got supplies, we got singles for all sorts of stuff. We got all the good board games, all the good goods. Good, good, good. And I'm happy to give you recommendations. If you're curious about good board games, I have been, I have been kind of soaked in the board game waters now for two or three years and, uh, and, and have a good idea of what's pretty good and what's not pretty good. Um, but we just try to focus on the goods. You know how it is. That said, enter, enter, exclamation mark, enter, to do that giveaway. And we will wait here. And again, if you have a bid out, please send that payment in ASAP. We got one person waiting on one bid to be completed. And then it's Ultimate Masters 30. Again, we're going to open up another booster box of Ultimate Masters. Just you wait. After this one, we have one final booster box to open today. And that's going to happen right here live on twitch.tv slash coolstuffinc. If you are not, <clears throat> oh no, the link is wrong? Oh, the, the, the giveaway mic bot link, whatever. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, and we will, we will get our top people right on that. Um, that said, the, uh, the idea that we're going to open up another Ultimate Masters Booster Box is going to be super, super sweet. We get to do this auction one more time. If you missed out the first go around, you got one more auction. We're going to do more of these on Thursday and Friday. So you can join us on Thursday all afternoon and on Friday all afternoon. This is our final push to try to get our channel where we want it to be in terms of uh, status with Twitch. And then we are going to then plan for the super sweet magical mystery auctions for War of the Spark. Oh boy, just you wait. There will be, uh, I believe, if I recall this correctly, we're going to open up an Iconic Masters, a uh, Masters 25, and two more Ultimate, Ultimate Masters boxes on Thursday and Friday. Exact same setup for both Thursday and Friday. It's going to be Masters, Masters, all the time Masters. Yo, dog, I heard you like Master sets. Uh, originally, Kendra Smith was going to be hanging out with us today, but unfortunately, due to business needs and business needs for Cool Stuff, Inc., it's a very busy day on our Mondays as we come back in from the weekend and get all the weekend's orders and whatnot uh, shipped and out of here. But uh, my expectation is that she will be here at least on Thursday, and obviously, I'll let you guys know as those things develop and change. That said, if we could go ahead and give away the gift certificate to CoolStuffInc.com. Congratulations to all of the winners. Let's see what happens here with a 2.381% chance. Congratulations to Crocs. Crocs, 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 Crocs. Good job. Still waiting on the one? Still waiting on that one. If you happen to be that one person, let's focus. It's me and you now. We can do this. We've got this. Let's make this happen, okay? Because once we make it happen, cracking this booster box, 24 amazing packs of Ultimate Masters. Auctioned off live for you here because I saw a good idea <clears throat> and I sure do like good ideas. <clears throat> and I like to think that I can recognize a good one when I see it. Let me just two seconds here so I don't have to clear my throat forever. But the, uh, the sports card world is doing stuff like this. Like sports cards, I certainly don't collect them anymore, but back in the 90s I sure did. Uh, but it turns out they're still a thing and they do all sorts of weird stuff with with sports cards, particularly with like, with signatures are interesting and stuff like pieces of jerseys, that's really weird to me. It's like, <clears throat> just imagine if, you know, they, they took like, you know, a, a new printing of, a new uh, painting of Nissa, and then they'd like cut up the canvas and like put in different pieces of canvas in these special packs or whatever. Like it's just, it's really kind of odd. Um, and obviously that, that correlation doesn't exactly work, that um, comparison or whatnot. But, the idea that you could essentially in the sport card world say, look, I want all of the Buffalo Bills cards or all of the you know, Titans or all of the Dolphins or whatever and uh, open that box and get it, well, that's pretty cool. And I was like, wow, that seems like I could just do that for colors. We open packs that we don't know what stuff's in them and sometimes awesome stuff's in them. So that's a good thing. 
But that gave me the impetus to come up with this crazy idea, and as a result, uh, here we are. We've been doing this now for weeks. Was it four weeks now? Something like that? Five weeks? Four weeks. Five weeks. Good gosh. Yeah, but, uh, but we've been having a lot of fun, and I've been incredibly surprised, not only by the reaction, uh, but by what just pops out of these things. You know, it's really hard to believe where things come from. Where did this foil come from? Where did that Liliana come from? Just to see it come right out of the pack. I mean, you saw just recently <clears throat> on this very stream, we opened a doubling season. Yes, just like we wanted. Came out of that pack roaring ready to go. We had our planeswalkers, our partner planeswalkers were in there. That was fantastic. So between all that, that's a good thing. And we are good to go. Yes, let's do this. I'm ready to open a booster box for you. The most ultimate of masters, of course. All right, very nice, very nice. Cool, cool. And I already see uh, that box topper. Now we open the box topper last because it's the most exciting. As you know, we'll put that right over there. There are only 24 packs in a master set, so it won't be quite as long as the uh, opening for Battle Bond, but that's okay. Go ahead and put these guys more or less over here. With that guy, sure, that'll work. Cool. Start opening some packs, y'all. This is much like Battle Bond, it has like the token up front. <clears throat> we have a zombie token with a foil. Ingot Chewer. It's nice when they're always a foil there. And a rare. Lord of Extinction. Okay, remember the cards I hadn't opened yet? Well, ladies and gentlemen, here's one of them. Where we got a Lord of Extinction for our multicolor lot winner. Congratulations. There's a Misfail Plains, a Living Lore. Ooh, a Young Pyromancer. That's a very nice uncommon. The old Scuzzback Marauders are neat. We're going to shed all of the weakness. Miming Slime down to common. There is God's Willing. We'll go ahead and put that in a white pile. Ooh, there's a Faithless Looting. Very nice. It didn't get banned. Congratulations. Ulamog's Crusher along with Heliod's Pilgrim. Let's keep it rocking and rolling here. We have an Elemental Token with a Foil Mammoth Umbra and a rare Revel Arc. I told you I pulled a lot of Revel Arcs and there's your Revel Arc. Along with a Firewing Phoenix. That's cool. That was on the red slide, which is nice. <clears throat> the old Hyena Humbra. Ooh, there's a foil with that new artwork, which is beautiful. I love it. The Rage never dies. All right. And keep on cracking. Our Zombie Token reveals a foil. Skywing Aven. And a rare. Machaeus the Unhallowed, a second mythic out of this box already. That is a sweet one. Very, very nice. <clears throat> Congratulations. Very new unstable mutation artwork, which is fantastic. I want a good old Wild Hunger. Keeping it cankery. Grave Scrabbler. Good old Raid Bombardment into the Apparition. God's Willing into the Crusader. All right, we have a spider and a foil Songs of the Damned with a rare Nourishing Shoal. <clears throat> Need that sucker for the Grishol brand deck. Absolutely, there's a new Desperate Ritual. That's beautiful. There's our Forbidden Alchemy and our Snake Umbra. We have our Just the Wind with a Cathodion. We have Shed the Weakness. Death Denied. There's our Molten Birth that makes those tokens we saw earlier. And the Shred Freak. <coughs> All right. Soldier Token shows a Foil. Staunch Hearted Warrior. <coughs> and a Rare. Celestial Colonnade. Very nice. I will take it. The Best Man Land Not Close. Yes, please, and thank you. Congratulations to the Landslot winner. There's a Slippery Bogle. Very cool. Along with Angel Despair, which got knocked down to Uncommon, <clears throat> which was not expected. 
Ooh, new Kadama's Reach. Very nice. Good old Eel Umbra. Ooh, there's another Staunch Hearted Warrior. I'm telling you, we open a lot of foils and we open the non foil of. There's a Conviction. Prey Upon is our foil <clears throat> with a rare Seismic Assault. That was on that red slide for a reason. Very nice. Congratulations to the red lot winner. Ooh, Garna. Ooh, did you play in that sick Omniscience draft thing over the weekend? Card is busted in that format. Busted. But that whole format's busted anyway, so whatever. It was silly. Demir Guild Mage knocked down the common. And our Thermal Alchemist is the final card. Elemental is going to show a foil, Conviction, a rare, Golgari Grave Troll. Very nice. I will take it. One of the best green cards we could open. Yes, please, and thank you. Go ahead and pull these together. Fiery Temper into Ether Snipe. There's a dark dabbling when you dabble in the dark. Crazy dark dabblers, you. There's the High Priest, and there's the Athlete. All right. Whoop. Came bouncing. Try to keep in your lane here. Note that if I put a card in the wrong spot, don't worry. We, uh, we check these before we send them out in case I do something dumb. There's a Spirit to show a foil. Sanitarium Skeleton with a rare... Sovereigns of Lost Alara, very cool, part of the mythic deck from back in the day that I got to uh, day two a GP with, day two, uh, let's see, I was in the top 100 at GPDC, that was the thing, there's Brawn, that's pretty cool. <coughs> the Pulse of the Marasa. Resurrection down to Common, and there's Mere Servitor. Time for the next pack. All right. Homunculus is going to show a foil. Wandering Champion. And a rare. Ancient Tomb. Yes, please. That's what I'm talking about. Get that sleeve. Get that sleeve, y'all. We're sleeve getters. That's what we're talking about. Oh, woof. Yes, please. Thank you to the Ancient Tomb. Very nice. Congratulations on the colorless lot winner on that one. <coughs> All right. Our reviving Vapors. Chainer's Edict. Oh, that's great. That's a fantastic uncommon. Our KO Mancer is fun. I love me a Faith's Fetters. Very nice mongrel. And the Crusader finishes us off once more. Spark and shows a foil. Repel the Darkness. And a rare. Tassiger the Golden Fang. That is one super nice image. <clears throat> Personally kind of prefer the old art, but that's okay. Oh, there's Leaf Dog. hey -o. Hi, Eternal Witness. How you doing? Congratulations to the green lot winner on that one, along with another brawn. Very cool. And we have an awful snout. Raid bombardment. All right. Let's get some good good. <clears throat> what you got for me, Ultimate Masters? What you got? Ooh, there's a really nice Merit Lage token with a foil Undying Rage and a rare Bridge from Below. Yes, please. Thank you. That was on the black slide for a reason. You don't play just one. You play the boat. There's an Appetite for Brains as well. There's a War Leader's Helix. Very nice for the multicolor. Good old Rune Snag. Never met a Face Fetters I didn't like. Oh, check out that Kadama's Reach. Oh, so good. I love it. Oop, all the colors over here. Oh, there's another Faithless Looting. I'll take it. Along with a Vessel. All right. 
right, Drake, I'm gonna show a foil, furnace celebration, and a rare disrupting shoal. We've already got one shoal, this is shoal number two. That's very nice. GG, there's Hero of Aroas in the white pile. Very nice, that was on the slide. Ooh, along with Golgari Thug, speaking of sweet uncommons. All right, along with your bitch from below, you got a Golgari Thug. Sweet. Old Kanks. Groundskeeper. Ooh, there's a Martyr of Sands. You need those. And the Undying Rage with a Ruin Unicorn. All right. Got ourselves a spirit token to reveal a foil. Containment Priest. <laughs> yes, please, and thank you. I will take the most expensive white rare at foil, please. Thank you, thank you very much. This is where we talk about the foils matter because we're getting that sleeve, y'all. But first, let's just double check and see what's behind the foil containment priest with Squee Goblin Nabob. All right, that's good, but it's no foil containment priest now, is it? Woof. Oh, so good. Oh, man, if you're going to get a foil rare, let's get this one. Very nice, that is shiny. So I'm gonna run over here with our ancient tomb hanging out. Very cool. There's our squee goblin Nabob. He's cool, he ain't going in the sleeve. Good gosh, there's a circular logic, very nice. So congrats to the white bid winner. I think I came through for you on that one. Whoa, woof. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have Eel Umbra, Souls Fire and Double Cleave, Angelic Renewal with a Raid Bombardment. Ooh. White Jackpot indeed. All right, Homunculus is going to show a foil Canker Abomination, keeping it canked with a rare Platinum Imperion. That is one big old mythic rare, rare for the Cola Slash uh, Lands winner. There's a Lava Spike, very nice, with brand new artwork, which is super cool. There's a Become Immense, that's a terrific uncommon. And then Golgori Charm, which is also very nice. Crushed that canopy with a last gasp, as we saw, showed up in Battle Bomb with new artwork. And the Safe Old Elite. All right. Let's see here. Spark of shows a foil, turn to mist, and a rare Raging Ravine. This is our second man land from the set. Ooh, there's a Kitchen Finks. Very nice. I'll take it. Kitchen Finks for the win, y'all. Got that Death Denied. Along with the plaques and the crier and the spark spitter plus repel the darkness that we just got in foil. Over here. All right, let's see what we got in here. Spider is going to show a foil iridescent drake and a rare desolate lighthouse. That lighthouse is so desolate when you're going through all of those cards, that prismatic lens is super pretty. Along with the Plume Veil, Treasure Cruise, one of the weirdest cards in that it's totally fine and standard and totally broken and everything else. But that's, you know, how it goes. Shielding Plaques and a Wandering Champion. Okay, we have a Zombie Token with a Foil, a Crow and Crusader, a Rare, Woodfall Primus. Good, good for the green. I'll take it. That's a fecundity with new artwork, which is really nice as well. There's a sleight of hand. Way to go. Good old Gurmog Angler. With a fume spitter and your wandering champion, your molten rebirth, or molten birth rather. Just one, not the rebirth. There's an elemental token, which shows a foil. Angelic Renewal with a rare Fulminator Mage. Very nice. 
That's at the top of the heap on that red slide, on that multicolored slide for a reason. I will take the best multicolored card. Congratulations to the bid winner on that one. You did well. Staunch hard warrior. Good old athlete. The unicorn and the ingot chewer. All right, let's see what comes out of this weirdly opened pack. Zombie's going to show a foil. Treasure Cruise. That's pretty cool. Along with a rare Gamble. Very nice. On that red slide for a reason, Gamble's a sweet one. With the Ixalan inspired artwork, which is very cool. And Holy Hunger goes right there. Oh, the crow has all the dark tidings. And Double Cleave is our final card. Let's go ahead and once again weirdly open these packs. Jeez. <clears throat> Citizen. A foil desolate lighthouse. That's a second foil rare for the box. Yes, please. Thank you. Along with a rare of Daybreak Coronet. Very cool. I'll take the one of the second or the third most expensive white cards along with the foil containment priest. Sure. That sounds great. There's a buried alive. Very nice. For use with your phoenixes. Oh, our first fire and ice. Love this card. So good. Ooh, another Kadama's Reach. So much value. There's a Faithless Looting. Yes. And a Generator Servant. Finishes us off. All right. Citizen Token. Going to reveal a foil. Fire and Ice. Yes, please. Thank you. Oh, look how cool that looks. Wow. That's awesome. And a rare Visions of Beyond. Very nice. It's on the blue slide. This is really, really sweet. Spider Spawning, a BDM favorite. Shiray, a Aaron Campbell favorite. Ooh, and, and another Fire and Ice. You get the shiny and the non-shiny in the exact same pack. I'll take it. We open up foil and non-foil stuff so much, they just have to put them in the same pack now. It's like, just, just open them up all at once. Don't wait. And there's a High Priest. Last three packs here. See if we can bust it open with a Soldier into a Foil, Dawn Charm, and a rare Noble Hierarch. Yes, please, get the sleeve. As we got our Noble Hierarch, oh, I pull so many of these wonderful, beautiful things. Thank you, thank you very much. Oh, yes. The Hierarch that is so very noble. Oh, my goodness. As we got that sleeve, and we tucked it right over there. Okay. Go through the rest of this pack real fast. Got our travel prep that they bumped to uncommon, because that card is not fair at common. Not fair. What were you doing? Putting that card of common wizards. Come on now. Martyr of Sands. Very nice. And Repel the Darkness is last. Okay. All right. Here we go. We have our Ooze. Ooze the Man. A Foil. Walker of the Grove. And a rare. Vengevine, yes please, I will take our Mythic right there at the end. Vengevine is excellent. Congrats to the Green Lot winner. There's another Lava Spike, very, very nice. Man, old Vengey. Man, that card was broken for a while with Survival of the Fittest. I mean, Survival of the Fittest was broken, but it was certainly the fuel in that engine. It was insane. Last pack before our box topper. Let's see if we can open a good one. There's been some surprises in our last packs before. You just never know. Our elemental token's gonna show a foil. Stitch Drake and a rare. Through the breach. What did I tell you? I'm just through the breach dot opener over here. I'm telling you, I have opened so many through the breaches. Given that red value, 
because sometimes it's a little hard to find. Might as well open the best red card. Thanks. Jeez. All right. Let me have this stuff here. Our dabbles in the darkness. Brown Skill and Shred Freak, Wandering Champion, Reckless Charge, and a Double Cleave. All right. So, that said, there is only one place left to go, and that is our box topper. What could it be? What could it possibly be? Now, granted, we have had boxes with a few more sleeves than this. I mean, you know, as with all things, they ebb and they flow. But that foil rare is pretty good, and I will take a jackpot for white because it's time to open up this box topper right here. And once again, I'll try to delicately open it. Oh, so delicately. So I have learned this should be the back. Yes, this is the back of the card. What could it be? It's right there. And you know, we do the flip. Here, ladies and gentlemen, we do the flip. Three, two, one. Boom! Micaeus the Unhallowed. I will take it. One of the sweetest cards for the casuals out there. Go ahead and sleeve this bad boy as we do. Good old Micaeus, we got the sleeve for Micaeus. There we go. So. That is our box topper. Here is our selection of uh, sleeved cards from this box. Old Noble Howard, a foil containment priest. That is a foil. It's hard to see, and it still is, but it's foil, I promise. Along with Ancient Tomb and our box topper of Micaeus the Unhallowed. Very nice. All right. So if you're bringing it back to me for just a moment, please. Hi, I'm Evan Irwin, live here in Orlando, Florida from the CoolStuffInc.com headquarters, doing the Magical Mystery Auctions, where we have delicious, fantastic cards being auctioned off for you every day. So as things can snap back, sometimes the boxes are amazing, sometimes they're not, sometimes they start slow and they end up ridiculous. So we have one more go at it. We have one more Ultimate Masters Booster Box to auction off. I certainly appreciate you guys hanging out here live. We will be right back in just a minute to finish these auctions. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Magical Mystery Auctions here live in Orlando, Florida at CoolStuffInc.com headquarters. I am Evan Irwin, and we are going through four different booster boxes today. We have already went through three, two boxes of Battle Bond, one that included a Brightling and a Doubling Season, amongst other sundries, including multiple dual lands. Uh, we just went through a box top, a box of Ultimate Masters with a box topper of Micaeus, as well as Ancient Tomb and Noble Hierarch were hanging out in there. And uh, it's time to do our final booster box of the day. And that is this Ultimate Masters booster box. Sometimes, and as we have seen literally on camera, I have pulled Snapcasters and Liliana and Akarn out of the exact same box. Yes, it has happened, and yes, it is real, and I even have video evidence of it. But let's go ahead and take a look at all the different categories that we're going to do to slice and dice this box. If you have never seen this before, we are going to bid these, we're going to auction these off one lot at a time, and the lots are as you see them. We're going to auction off the box topper that we opened last, along with the colorless slash lands, which is usually one of the most lucrative categories for obvious reasons. Then the multicolored cards, along with Wooberg in that order, white, blue, black, red, and green. And once all of the payments are in, then we will begin to open up this box and see what's inside. So to get us started here, we're going to look at all the box toppers. Bring up the box toppers and please create the auction. This is your chance to be involved in the fun. Exclamation mark bid space a whole number is your chance to get in whatever box topper that we opened. Now we have opened Cavern of Souls. That's a thing that we have opened on camera here. We've opened, uh, we opened a, let's see, a Vengevine, I believe. We've had, we've had a bunch of really awesome, uh, we have opened a, a Demonic Tutor, which was really sweet. That was fun. Uh, we, we opened it again. Cavern of Souls showed up, which was great, but I'm ready for the Goyf. I'm ready for the Snapcaster time. I'm ready for Karn Liberated time. Exclamation mark bid space a number is your chance to be involved. I mean, we opened Micaeus, which is no slouch. I mean, it's no Liliana the Veil, but it's no slouch. 
I'm ready for the, the goif action. The mana vault would be terrific to see pop out of there. Ancient Tomb I would not be unhappy with. Bitter Blossom is so pretty I can't stand it. But this is your chance to get involved. Exclamation mark bid space a number. It has to be a whole number. We don't deal with cents, otherwise it would get ridiculous and we know how magic players are. You guys would be hunting it down one cent at a time <laughs> until someone finally just gave up. Instead, we do whole numbers, so we do that stuff for you. Congratulations to ZWyvern1. Hey, buddy, you know the drill. CSI underscore auction help can help you get all those details settled. Let's go ahead and bring up the next category, what is usually the largest category in terms of bids, the colorless slash lands. We could bring that auction. Thank you very much. We have opened Karn. We have opened all of the Eldraz Eldrazi Titans, I think, except Kozilek. We just opened Ancient Tomb. We have opened a foil engineered explosives. We've opened, uh, let's see, we've opened Mana Vault for sure. I think we still haven't opened a Cavern of Souls that isn't a box topper. I mean, you know, the worst, you know, the best problems or whatever. But still, this is, this, this is my time to be like, hey, you know, I, I, I tend to not open things then open things. So I want to open that for you because it's stupidly expensive. <laughs> it's crazy, crazy expensive. But the idea that I'm opening one of those, or anything that comes shiny, again, we opened a foil engineer explosives on camera. That was awesome. But Emrakul has popped out of these packs before, as well as Caracas, which was great. But uh, Phyrexian Altar is way too expensive for really what it is. But, you know, if they make something that sacrifices things for free, that goes into any EDH deck ever, then it's going to be worth something all the time. Exclamation mark bid space a number is your chance. Because you know how those pendulums swing. Sometimes the box is a little loose, and then sometimes that box is crazy. The first Battle Bond box wasn't amazing, but whoo, wasn't that second one? Mm -hmm. That second one was nuts. And I loved it, and I'm ready to run back that. If our first box is okay and this box is amazing, well, this is your chance to get in on it. Congratulations to ZWyver1. Hey, buddy, you know, you know the drill. Those drills work for everybody. Let's go ahead and bring up the multicolor cards. Did we pull a full Miller Mage? Yes, we did. Have I opened a foil full Miller Mage? Yes, I have. Please start that auction. Thank you very much. Uh, Lord of Extinction just popped out of the packs a few minutes ago, which is nice. Leovold, I've opened. Gadok, Teague, and Sigarda, absolutely. We just saw Kitchen Finks, which is cool. Maelstrom Pulse, I've opened as a box topper before, so that was fun. Vengeful Rebirth, and of course there's a foil in every pack. And obviously common and uncommon foils are going to show up a whole lot more. The idea that you can get Vengeful Rebirth as a super shiny foil with Seb McKinnon's amazing artwork is a possibility. We did open a War Leaders Helix as well. Um, and uh, gotta love the multicolor cards in Ultimate Masters. Exclamation mark bid space a number is your chance. Thank you very much. We had to get a restock of sleeves, ladies and gentlemen. We've been opening and using and getting so many sleeves that we had to get additional sleeves. And I hope to use lots and lots of them for you on this box. Hopefully the commons and the uncommons and the foils are insane. But I'm looking forward to the rares and the mythic rares to being great for you. Exclamation mark bid space. A number is your chance to get involved in this auction, the final auction of the day. You won't see us back here until Thursday. And we will do some more auctions then. I hope you guys have had a good time hanging out with me opening booster packs of magic cards because I know I certainly have. The ability for us to find out what's in these packs is half the fun. <clears throat> All right. We get that bid in. Remember, it is $5 in shipping for the lower 48 or $15 anywhere on the planet. You too can get involved. And because uh, these are not sealed packs anymore, once I open them, they are singles, which means it doesn't matter where I ship them. If we were, if we were sending out packs, then that would be a problem, but it is not. Uh, note that all this stuff is going to ship tomorrow. So, uh, just a uh, note for the shipping there. Congratulations to Argent Griever for winning the multicolor cards. Ding, ding. Let's go ahead and bring up all of the white cards. Now, did, was that a foil containment priest? Yes, it was. There are jackpots to be had, ladies and gentlemen. And you can have your very own. This is for every white card in the set, or every white card that I open in the set out of this booster box. Exclamation mark bid space a whole number is how you get involved. But yes, we did open a Daybreak Coronet and a Foil Containment Priest and an, a Rebel Arc showed up and multiple Martyr of Sands were there and the Hero of Aroas was also there. So there is plenty of goodness to be had. 
the idea obviously is that you're going to get a heck of a deal because someone already has a story from the last box that whatever the white cards went for in the first box, I'm pretty sure was lower than the amount of the container priest. It's just kind of how it works. Thanks to SJ Saren for following. If you follow, you also get that really cool animation, so feel free to, to drop kick the follow button. Just kick a bram. Just, you know, just uppercut that follow button. Just do it. Smash it. Get, in, get into the smash. Exclamation mark. Bid space a number. <clears throat> Gets you in on that. Good old Red Dawnbringer, because man, Wizards sure does love to print Red Dawnbringer. Go back and look at the um, crazy amount of times they've printed her as a promo. Um, they printed her in regular sets for a very, very long time. Uh, she was the kind of large white angel du jour for a very long time until uh, Chroma showed up. That said, exclamation mark, bid space, a number is your way to get involved. Every single card uh, that is white out of this booster box will be yours, whether it's foil or not. If you open a foil martyr of sands, well, congratulations, you have a foil martyr of sands. If you open a foil wall of reverence before, that was neat. Sublime Archangel is a fun card that I enjoy a lot. The auction's ending soon. And uh, get your bids in if you want to be involved. Oh no, Z Wyvern. Actually, I think Z Wyvern, I think you, you followed so early we didn't have the followers or things set up yet. All right, congratulations to uh, Shandi Sahari, or Shandi Sari, rather. Uh, for winning all of the white cards, please see CSI underscore auction help, which I believe you already have earlier today. Bring up all of the blue cards, and you know who's on top. Go ahead and make the auction for the blue cards, please, because there ain't no mage like a Snapcaster mage. He is the best freaking blue card I could possibly pull out of here. We did get a Visions of Beyond, we did pull a Disrupting Shoal, and even a Slide of Hand. And along with a circular logic and foil showed up, which is cool, but I'm ready for the top of this pyramid. I'm ready for the top of this pile. A Snapcaster Mage would be fan-freaking-tastic to open for you guys out of this booster box of Ultimate Masters. It can be yours. Exclamation mark bid space a number can get you every single Snapcaster Mage that I pull, whether it's foil or not. Every Back to Basics I pull, whether it's foil or not. All the good goods I want to be for you. This again, as our pendulum has swung maybe a little bit away from the blue in the last box, maybe it swings heavy into blue in this box. Maybe our foil rare is temporal manipulation. You just never know. Uh, and as a result, you will have that fantastic story to tell all of your friends of how you were hanging out at the CoolStuffInc.com Magical Mystery Auction and you made out like a bandit. And I'll take it. Because at some point, I would like to think at some point, we're able to pull something insane like a foil Snapcaster. Because, I, you know, we need that in our lives. So let's do it. Need hit that snaps. Let's do it. Congratulations to Tarek B75. Please see uh, CSI underscore auction help the user to get the PayPal information so we can get all your shipping info and stuff in there. You can bring up all the black cards, please. This originally, as we know, was originally Immortal Masters. They were going to continue on, but they decided no, let's stop the train here. Let's put everything in. And, and everything else in top of it, uh, in it, let's put a box topper in it because who cares? And Petal of the Metal, Liliana of the Veil, in this sucker. Demonic Tutor, absolutely. Have I pulled them on camera? Oh yeah. A foil Demonic Tutor? Oh yeah. That happened on camera right here, and it can be yours. Exclamation mark, bed space and number is your chance to be involved. Get yourself in these auctions. Maybe you're a winner. Maybe not. It certainly gives you incentive to hang out and check out and see what we pull out of this box, which is nice. And even if you don't win the bid, hang out and imagine that if you had just gone an extra, an extra dollar or two, what could have happened? And we see this all the time of, you know, these two people were in a bidding war and they just got to that stopping point as you're eventually going to do. And you just say, man, if I had just, you know, one more dollar, I would have gotten that Karn. One more dollar, I would have gotten that Liliana. One more dollar, I would have gotten the foil bitter blossom or whatever that I pull out of here. Micaiah the Unhallowed absolutely showed up out of that last booster box. So I'm ready to work my way up the chain. We had a bridge from below pop out of the last one. Oh yes, that was great. Exclamation mark bid space a number. It's getting there. All right, congratulations to TSI Messi 2000 for winning this lot. 
please see CSI underscore auction help to get that payment arranged. If we could please bring up all the red cards. Now I told y'all, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? Me and Through the Breach, I just opened a lot of Through the Breaches. It's just like, it's like it's my job. It's weird. Like, it took to the, I think, second to last or third to last pack to show up in the previous box. But for whatever reason, those things just fly out of my hands. It's crazy. Exclamation mark, bed space, and number. We opened a bunch. We opened, what, uh, like two or three Faithful Saluting. Gamble was in there. A couple Desperate Rituals. Uh, I think at least two Lava Spikes were also in there. This isn't obviously the most high dollar, you know, section. Bid, you know, uh, the bid lot. But there's value to be had. And if the right things are foil, if I open a foil faithless looting, that's, that in and of itself is going to justify a large amount of whatever you're bidding right now. So it doesn't take a lot of these cards to be in there. We open a Seismic Sock, we open a Firewing Phoenix, we open Squee, who was behind the Foil Containment Priest, but isn't a Foil Containment Priest. But that said, congratulations to Hero J. Please contact CSI underscore auction help. Then we'll get your information as well as where to ship that payment because we can't open the box until we get all the payments in. That said, let's bring up all the green cards. This is the final lot of the day. This is the last thing we're auctioning off until Thursday. This is your chance to be involved. This is my chance to open a Tarmogoyf. Did I open a Vengevine? Yes, I did. Did I open a Noble, Noble Hierarch? Yes, I did. It's time to get to the top of that mountain. It's time to get Tarmoy up in the Goyf. Yeah because there's so many good green guards. We opened a Golgari Grave Troll and an Eternal Witness, multiple Kadamas Reaches and a Woodfall Primus. Look, let's just, let's just fill out the catalog, the portfolio, if you will, because I'm ready to make it happen. Exclamation mark, bid space, a number is your chance to be involved. If I were to get a shiny Kodama's Reach, which gosh, I would, I would personally love that myself, which is great. But if, uh, and if, I get, if we pull the GP top eight, if we pull the foil goif, oh my goodness. You don't have to worry about picking that over a clearly better card. You just get to keep it. And you get to have this story. And you get to go back. And you get to clip it. And you get to show people that clip. And be like, see that? That's my goif right there. He pulls out of that pack right in front of your face. Oh my goodness. We're going we're gonna to feel in the box magic. I'm feeling some goodness out of this one. I'm feeling, feeling good. Feeling hype. I feel like that last box, just like that first box of Battle Bond. You know, it just kind of primes the pump. You know what I mean? We're priming it. And then when the pump hits, whoo, there's no brakes on this hype train. You know what I'm saying? This is the final bid of the day. Exclamation mark bid space A number is your chance to be involved. The final lot of the day. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Congratulations to Red Doyle. Hey, buddy. Thanks for hanging out. Congratulations on winning the final lot of the day. Go ahead and bring it back to me, please. Hi. I am Evan Irwin. We are here live in Orlando, Florida, talking about our magical mystery auctions. We have auctioned, successfully auctioned off this booster box of Ultimate Masters. I want to open it for you and get the goodness for you so we can see what's inside. For those who have won your bids, please see CSI underscore auction help. We got to get that payment in ASAP. But for those who did not win a bid and are just hanging out and watching me yammer, well, we want to reward you for doing so because you need to get paid to listen to me. <laughs> Let's get a uh, $25 gift certificate giveaway up and running in the channel. Exclamation mark enter is how you put your name in the hat. Go ahead and throw it in there. I want to give you guys something for free. You ain't got to give me money. I want to give you the money. Now, because of you know things that happen and the wires that get crossed and whatever, if someone who just won a bid happens to win this gift certificate, you can't pay for the bid with the gift ticket for a whole bunch of accounting and like tax reasons and stuff that's like above my pay grade and I don't ask a lot of questions. I just say, okay, that's fine and I'll explain it to them. Because you can still take that gift certificate and go buy something at Cool Stuff and then tell the customer service, email them and say, hey, I won this lot from this Ultimate Masters booster box and can I combine it with order number so-and-so? We can do that. If you wanted to pick up your order, pick up your bid lot, as well as an order of stuff, you can totally do that too. Exclamation mark enter is how you get your name in the hat. Don't miss out. I'm gonna make sure that somebody is rewarded for hanging out with me here live at coolstuffing.com. In sunny slash sometimes hot slash soon in a couple months we're all going to die Orlando. But you know, it's fine, who cares? You know, winter was great. 
So let's let's go ahead and, and bake off the rest. Exclamation mark enter is your chance to be involved. For those who have won bids, please get those bid payments in. See CSI underscore auction help if you have questions or need anything. That said, the magical mystery auctions, if you have you have no idea what's going on, what in the world do you do in here? Well, we slice and dice booster boxes into different lots. Like for example, for Battle Bond, uh, not only did we auction off all of the different colors, we also did the partners as their own. And I'm certainly looking forward to War of the Spark where we're going to do Planeswalkers on their own. I can't, just, can't wait to see what's going to happen in that one. That's going to be super cool. That said, we're going to give away a $25 gift certificate right now. Last few moments for you to enter in that if you have not already. Give it a few seconds. But again, as mentioned, we slice and dice booster boxes, we sell them off, and then we open up and see basically who was the big winner. Because as it more or less happens every time, somebody makes out like a bandit. It could be you. I have opened insane booster boxes on this channel. I've opened okay booster boxes, but we've had some insane ones. Man, that Guilds of Ravnica booster box that we opened, oh my god. That had, uh, it had two Experimental Frenzy, frenzy two Steam Vents, uh, Rao, it had, um, uh, not Niv, Niv, yeah, Niv Mizzet. Had Niv Mizzet, uh, the six mana one, the insane one. Like, it was, it was nuts. Like, it was one of the most insane boxes I've ever opened. Like, a Thief of Sanity, had a Mara. It had, like, all of the good cards. Multiple dual lands. Like, basically, if it was a good rare in Guilds Ravnica, it was in that booster box. And it was nuts. So, if you got a chance to hang out with me on that one, that one was super duper fun. If we could please give away our $25 gift certificate to Booster, or to Booster, to uh, CoolStuffInc.com. Congrats on all who are winning there. Congratulations to Aw Deet Deet. That's an amazing username. Aw Deet Deet. Very, very nice. How many are we waiting on currently? Uno. If you have not sent in your payment, please see CSI underscore auction help because right now we are ready for this train to leave the station. I'm ready to open up these magical 24 packs and along with a box topper of Magic the Gathering cards because, uh, it's, it's good clean living, let me tell you. As soon as all of our payments are in. Yeah, all deet deet. Got to get that all deets in. But it's been super fun hanging out with you guys today, opening up these boxes, seeing who's the big winner. We had, <coughs> excuse me, clearly a big winner for uh, the white category in the previous booster box. Because congratulations on your foil containment priest. I uh, salute you for, uh, for your good luck essentially. As again, I, I am paid to be lucky at many times. I've like, just open this booster box and make sure it's worth, you know, an awesome amount. I'm like, oh, whatever. And it's just like Snapcaster and Liliana and Karn shows up because that's just how them cookies crumbled or whatever. There is a selection of mythics in this box as to which ones they are. I guess we shall, we shall see. Still waiting on the Final payment, if you are, if you have not sent in your payment, then there's only one person I'm talking to. And that train is being held up currently, and we want to not hold up the train. We want to make sure this train's in the station. Oh, PayPal, why are you being weird? Oh my gosh. For a lava spike, please, we can certainly do that. Hello, Hero J, how you doing? And for all those who are new to the channel, welcome. Thanks very much to Jim Davis for hosting us. Uh, so you guys can get a little taste of what we've been doing here in Orlando with these crazy booster boxes. Evan's silly idea come to life. And I love silly ideas. I love doing things that no one's ever done before. So between that, yay. That makes me happy. All right. We have our own bot that we developed just to run these auctions, which is nice. Uh, we did not include the ability to delete uh, at first to delete your bids until someone accidentally deleted or uh, accidentally tried to get a category for like 200 something dollars and it was like oh snap we need to add that functionality in because at least the first time we had to just cancel the auction and do it again <laughs> but we have we have the technology and we have brewed in better tools that we can use to control such things and we're good oh my goodness it's time to open the uma the uma uma it's so good. UMA Ultimate Masters happening right now. Oh, yes, please. Okay, that's zoomed. Oh, for the box topper. 
which hopefully we're not in the point zero zero percent and we are not because there's our box topper so we'll put that bad boy right over here as we do so we can keep an eye on sometimes they get away it's weird All right, get back here box topper like, box topper just run it's bad okay who wants to open some magic cards i'm gonna open some magic cards let's do this and good luck to all those involved it just it, there cool all right there's a spider right there a foil martyr of sands you know if we're going to kick it off y'all pack one a foil martyr of sands is pretty solid with a rare seismic assault very nice on the red slide i dig it Whew, there's a devoted druid too look at that between martyr of sands foil and devoted druid okay let's let's get this this thing you know, kicked off shall we good old slum reaper all right there note if i ever do put something in the wrong pile we go through them to make sure i didn't screw it up and that happens from time to time. A spirit token is going to reveal a foil conviction and a rare of all is dust. Very nice. That is a fantastic rare. Congratulations to the Coalus slash Lands Pile bid winner. Ooh, there's a Chainer's Edict. That's a terrific uncommon. Where's the uh, there's the black cards up there? Good old Stitcher's Apprentice. Ooh, there's a new Kodama's Reach. Very nice. I'll take that added value. Yes, please, thank you. Ah. Do it. Weirdo packs. Yeah. <clears throat> a zombie token's gonna reveal a foil plume veil. And a rare Sigarda Host of Herons, our first mythic. Yes, please and thank you. That's fantastic. It was on that slide for a reason. Congratulations to the multicolor lot winner on that one. A little Shriek Maw Anger and Living Lore, which got knocked down to Uncommon, and which I certainly agree with. The old staunch hearted warrior. Ooh, another Martyr of Sands. Maybe we can get you a playset for it's over. And Soul's Fire, that used to be rare. Back in Alara, as I recall. The zombies are going to reveal a foil, Lotus Eye Mystics, and a rare Snapcaster Mage. Woohoo! That's what I'm talking about, y'all. What did I say? I tell you, I'm telling you, I had a hankering. I had a hankering in the field. I had a, had a, had a, had a frankering. You know what I'm saying? It was crazy. We had Snappy McSnap Snaps. Get the sleeve, get the sleeve, sleeve, sleeve. It's Snapcaster time. Yes, please, and thank you. Whoo, that's a $70 Mythic Rare right there. Woof, okay. Congratulations to the Blue Lot winner. They said it would take a Snappy to do it. Well, here you go. Guess we're just gonna, gonna snap it up. Thank you much. We'll put our, put our sleeves right there. And there's a counter squall that was on that multicolor slide. Very nice. I'll take it. Man, that's what we're talking about. That good snap hype. In before for Liliana. You just never know. When you got the hankering, you got it. Let's see what else. What the goodies are inside? A elemental. Shows a foil, a crow and crusader, and a rare. Engineered explosives. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure what the price is on engineered explosives these days. I'm sure it's pretty good. Uh, I'm trying to figure out are we sleeving or are we not sleeving? This is a probably a sleeve worthy card, but it's close. I know the foil one certainly was. Whew. 25 bucks is not a cheap card. That's a magma that's no longer rare. Thank God. Frantic search is sweet. Old death denied. Gurmog angler. 
Thermal Alchemist in the Servitor. Oof. Woof. That's it. We're getting the sleeve. Freaking engineer explosives doing this. Oof. Woof. Oh, you eat. We had a call to get the sleeve. We got the sleeve. Right there behind the old Snapsies. Very nice. Let's keep rocking and rolling. I like it. Anything over 15 bucks? Done. Spark Elemental. <laughs> okay. A foil mythic cigarda. Yes, please. Thank you. Wow. And we get the lead. and there's something behind this. Remember that. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, holy cow. That's a tarmacillus behind the foil cigar. <laughs> it's so good. I can't handle it. Oh, my God. Woo. Oh, my goodness. That's a foil cigar. That's a Tarmogoyf and a Snapcaster Mage from the same box. Thank you so very much. Oh my gosh. Woo. Baby, the old double mythic goodness. Woo. It's not often you get to sleeve twice. And yet, here we are. Oh my God. Woo. Okay. That's the Mistvale Plains. Woo. Getting the Vipers. So good. Gosh, there's an, and there's a Kadama's reach in here, because why not? You need more sweet green cards. Yeah. What a turn to mist. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Woo. Good gosh. <laughs> it's pack six. Oh my god, oh my god, there's a Drake with a foil. Spider Umbra. Oh my god, a rare. Celestial Colonnade. Yes, please. I will take the best mainland again. Thanks. Vengeful Rebirth is fantastic. The multicolor lot sure did come out today, including a War Leader's Helix. Very nice. Congratulations. Oh my gosh. Things have to have to snap back, as it were, now, don't they? And they certainly have so far. There's another Martyr of Sands. That's three in the box with the foil one. Good gosh. All right. Zombie Token shows a foil. Iridescent Drake. And a rare Squee Goblin Nabob. With an Artist and a Kozilek. Ooh, there's a Become Immense. That's great. Because, you know, at this point, green needs more good stuff out of this box. Ooh, there's a Fire Nice, which I love. Good old opal snout. God is willing. And a Sky Spear Calvary. Lots and lots and lots to go. Oh, so many. So many chances at the good goods. Homunculus, Shoot the Foil, Terramorphic Expanse, which has a rare Containment Priest. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Please and thank you. I appreciate it. Can someone give me a price check on Containment Priest, please? Thank you. I'm going to put that in the possibly, possibly sleeved pile right over there. Once we get confirmation, we talked about $15 or ups going up in those sleeves. Regular go with your foil, maybe, maybe. Aha. Close. And yet, still, I will take the sweet, sweet white card that's on top of the slide. Get our High Priest into our Crusader. And gosh, let's not get too disappointed by the best white card. All right, Ooze is going to show a foil. Daybreak Coronet, holy cow! And look how sick that foiling is. Wow! Okay, two great foil rares in this box. Yes, please, thank you. <laughs> White's starting to crush it now, ain't they? Good gosh. All right, and that foil Daybreak Coronet behind it is a rare. Revelark. Okay, that's just all the good white cards. Sure, there's a Kitchen Finks because Multicolor clearly needed more love. Oh my gosh. Wow. I mean, you know, there's 
there, there's worse setups. Pill of the Darkness and Raid Bombardment. Oh boy. Barely a third into this box. All right, there's the zombie token shows a foil of Stitch Drake and a rare of Noble Freaking Hierarch, y'all. Get in the sleeve. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Mm. Yes, yes, please. Oh, yes. Goodness. That was, yes. Is that, is, is that real? That is real. Congratulations. That's real. I rhyme and steal. I'm telling you, that is noble freaking. I just, serious, serious. This is, this is seriously. This is happening in our lives right now, and I love it. I just, I can't. I love it. Whew. Oh, my gosh. It's so much fun. Hope you guys are having just as much as I am, because, wow. This is... This is quite the booster box so far. I will take it. Man, oh, there's a Faithless Looting. Very nice. Goodness gracious. This box gives and gives and gives. Elemental token into a foil. Mammoth Umbra and a rare. Ancient Tomb! <laughs> the sleeve one more time we get to see that thing so much we can see it so much oh yeah remove whatever you feel necessary from that list oh oh my god wow that's uh that's an ancient tomb right there ladies and gentlemen i will take it and i will put it over here in this pile of amazing god oh, wow hero of lena tower Jeez, the wildest of hungers y'all Prey upon a sweet. The Crusader of the Mystics and the Crier. So much fun with an elemental token into a foil. God's willing. That's pretty cool. I like it. And a rare Thespian Stage. All right. Very cool. A reprint to go along with Dark Depths in the set. There's a Laboratory Maniac. That's nice. Brown Scale on the Dabbles. Renewals into Bombardments into Plaxes. The old Shielding Plaques. Fairy Rogue is going to show a foil. Dark Dabbling. You dabble in the dark with a rare Creeping Tar Pit. Very nice. One of the sweet manlands. There's an Ewit right there. Leaf Dog. Hashtag Leaf Dog. Yes, please. Yes, please, dog. Never met a face fetter that I didn't like. Just saying. And the Umbra into the Soul's Fire. Very cool. Ooh, there's the nice Merit Lage. The foil is Shriek Maw. It's actually really cool. Excellent for cubes. The rare is Gamble. Gamble is very, very nice. That is on the red side for a reason. There's the new Desperate Restroll. Very nice. I like it. Rune Snag. things in the wrong spot again. If I were to put something in where it doesn't go, we do check these before they go out to make sure. All right, we have an Ooze the Man token with a foil sanitarium skeleton and a rare Gadoc Teague. Very nice on that multicolor slide right near the top. Thank you, thank you, Gadoc. You are terrific. Can I get a price check on that, please? In the maybe sleeve pile over there, there's a circular logic, which is a fantastic uncommon, along with the Emancipation Angel that we looked at earlier. Very nice, ten bucks, ten buck hit. Congratulations to the multicolor lot winner. You got there. And the unicorn is our final card from that pack. Oh, elemental into a foil, just the wind. Oops. Into a rare 
Fauna Shaman. Very nice. I will take some good green cards because clearly with a Noble Hierarch and a Tarmogoyf, we should have kept going. Which is all good in the hood. But Fauna Shaman finally reprinted. Card is terrific. It's no survival of the fittest, but what is? Ooh, another Faithless Looting. I'll take it. Have ourselves another boost back. Get the tea. All right. Citizen Token reveals a Foil Wandering Champion and a rare Sovereigns of Lost Alara. Very cool as we open this in our last box. I ran that sucker to a day two of a GP, along with a bunch of really other overpowered, ridiculous mythic cards for the time. Well, yeah, there's a foil with a new artwork. Very, very nice. Okay. Let's see what we can do right here. There's a zombie into a foil. Apprentice Necromancer into a rare. Dig through time. Digging straight through to those blue cards. There's a, there's a Slippery Bogle. Very nice. Blast Genius. Ooh, and there's a Golgari Thug. It's our last uncommon. Very cool. Let's see if we can bust some crazy good here with our last four or five packs. I think it's five. Yes. Okay, here we go. Spider shows a foil. Skywing Aven and a rare. Demonic Tutor. Yes, thank you. It is sleeve time. Oh my goodness. How small can that list get? <laughs> Woo! Yeah! That's what we're talking about right there. That's a good, good. Some good, good demonic tutor goodness. Very nice. All right. And we also have a lava spike. Check that out. Terrific pull for the red, the red lot winner. Buried alive. Terrific. Good old pulse. Conviction and reckless charge. All right. Four packs to go. Zombie shows a foil. Wingsteed Rider into a rare. Entomb. Very nice. I like it. Congrats to the black lot winner. Entomb is terrific. And I will take it. We got our twins in there, along with a guild mage down to common. The Alchemist and the Vessel of Endless Rest. Okay, we have ourselves here the homunculus along with a foil, staunch hearted warrior, and a rare fulminator mage. Yes, please. That's what I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure that's a sleeve getter. I could be wrong, but I'll need a price check on that. If we could please get a price on fulminator mage. I'll put that in the, I'm pretty sure I'm going to put it in a sleeve pile right over there. Unstable mutation with sweet new artwork is nice. Shire is a terrific commander. Garna is busted in that silly omniscience format, if you got to play that over the weekend. Uh, I, I got to play some stupidly powerful decks that just did dumb things. There's another foil. Shielding plaques and a resurrection. Oh man, Fulminator Mage so close, yet so far. Doesn't matter. Still a great rare. Still one of the best multicolor cards. I'll take it. All right. Two packs to go. All right, we have a spirit token into a foil, Mistfail Plains, into a rare Rhea Dawnbringer. Good old Rhea. The printer and printer, but people love her. Vengeful Rebirth with a sweet new artwork. Very nice. Iridescent Drake into an angel. Very cool. Slum Reapers and our Elders. To the clutches of the Servitor. God's willing. Here's our final pack of Ultimate Masters. 
You know, like there's some surprises in this last pack, and there have been before. Maybe there is this time. You just never know. That's a worm token with a foil. Cthodion, and what's our final rare of this box? Ruined Halo. Very nice. The white pile ended up pretty, pretty sweet. But and there's a there's a sleight of hand and a pyromancer. That's terrific. Way to go for the good uncommons in our final pack. Sweet fire dice. Certainly cannot complain. We had quite the list this time. We're getting the sleeve, y'all. Oh, look at that. Faithless looting. I couldn't get you a place that, but I got you close. I think that's three of the four, and that ain't bad. Ingot Chewer. Very nice. All right. So, as we put these things in their respective piles, you know what happens now. It is time for that sweet, sweet topper of the box. Just going to get these piles where they need to be. And again, if something goes in the wrong pile, don't worry. We check them before we send them. So that's not a thing. And we are going to spin that wheel, that shiny, shiny wheel. Go ahead and take a look here at the ridiculous haul from this box first. Like, seriously. Seriously. This is foil. For those who haven't seen that, that's foil. That's a foil mythic, which is nice. Along with Tarmogoy, Fire Arc, Ancient Tomb, Tutor, Snapcaster Mage. Yes, Snapcaster Mage. Yes, Tarmogoy from the same box. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. That was, that was a heck of a boost box. Magic cards. All right. For this one, though, it's box topper time. It's time to get hype. Pull this out like this. As we do. There we are. There's the card itself. Let's see if I can arrange this so when I flip it, it'll be facing upwards. There you go. Right around there. Cool. It's time to flip it. Three, two, one. Boom, Urborg. Tomb of Yogmoth. That is not two shabs. I will take it. That is beautiful. I love the line right there in the middle, which is great. Fantastic. Check that out. Nice. Have to pop that there in the sleeve as we do with all of our box toppers. Very nice, very nice, very nice. All right. So that is your box topper for this ridiculous box of Ultimate Masters that also included our boy Tarmo and Snaps and Demonic Tutor and Explosives and Sigarda Foil and Oaharak and Ancient Tomb. Yeah. Bring it to me, please. Ladies and gentlemen, that is an afternoon of fun. We got to open up all of these crazy cards. You got to bid on them directly from your own home. And you got to see what happens live here at the Magical Mystery Auctions from CoolStuffInc.com. Uh, my name is Evan Irwin, and I appreciate you uh, hanging out. I'm starting to run out of words. I've used a lot of words today. Uh, that said... You could have been anywhere else in the world, but you chose to hang out with me, and I really, really appreciate it. For those who won and won big, congratulations. Thank you very much. We will be back here on Thursday for a whole new round with Iconic Masters, Masters 25, and two more boxes of Ultimate Masters. More and more picks, more and more swings at the bat, as it were. We hope that you join us then. It will be noon Thursday, this Thursday, uh, with me and more than likely Kendra Smith this time. Uh, but that said, thank you very much for hanging out and watching. We will catch you next time here at the Magical Mystery Auctions.